Ah, oh, darn it. I forgot to take that one off being rainbow. Shit. Uh, not that it matters, but I knew I missed something. All right, welcome back to Nat 19. Enjoy the <laughs> rainbow. You know, that's because Pride Mom's penis. there. That's because Pride Mom's there. Rainbow <laughs> penis. <laughs> rainbow penis. Welcome Doctor, back to, uh... Be a homosexual. Why is that? Rainbow. Rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to Nat 19. Vestige of a Fucus, campaign 1.5, which what? means nothing. Don't worry about it. Amazing. Session 30. We've already gone 30 sessions into campaign 1.5. Heckin, we have returned in, in post quite a dramatic session, and I'm going to go ahead and roll my die here to determine who's going to give us a rewardless recap. It's going to be Carrie. What happened last time? Yay! Don't do this to me. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. I've done this to um, you. We were looking for a wire in a cave, and we had to solve more puzzles. Um, it was a big old statue one. Of like a ring, and we, we figured it out and got a ring or something. Um, then it was like, oh, heck, and you can open the, the big old door or whatever. And then there was a big old lion boy who was all like, rawr, y'all suck. And then he, he put us into a room wow. with a bunch of fucking old <laughs> statues. Lion yeah. Then he put us in a room. <laughs> he put us in a room or something. Um, <laughs> with the, the riddle thing about y yourself or something. I'm doing it. I'm recapping perfectly. Um, You're doing great. Um, and Lexi was dumb and hit her own statue and that sent her into another room. Um, Vogan did the same thing. Um, and then we eventually killed the big old flamey boy that was in the middle of the room and got sent back to the lion boy. He was all like, heckin, y'all can ask me something if you want. And then we asked him a bunch of things. Fuck, what did we all what ask What were all you? the things, Carrie? Uh... I think one of the things you asked is affecting you. It's, right? <laughs> like, hint, shit. Hint! It's a hint! Uh, fucking Lexi asked about how to cure amnesis. And he went into detail about that. <laughs> <laughs> Did it? And then he answered, and then... He answered? <laughs> Dude, it's because I do my notes at the end of game, so I'm so not confident that they're accurate. <laughs> I'm like, that's not right. Like, fucking example. Later in my notes, I've got... Orbis appeared, and then in brackets it says, Big Big. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why it says Big Big. <laughs> <laughs> big Big. What a good time. What a great time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, fuck. Oh, like, I'm gonna that. rename the sword Big Big Sword. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think those are just like anecdotal notes from Lexi. That's just her thought of it. <laughs> oh, big, big. Oh, oh that's a big, big. <laughs> oh, it's a big, big. So, big, big. Big, big. Yeah. <laughs> but no, there's something about them hacking about amnesis fucking what is it? It like steals memories. It's not like a disease. It's like feeding off of memories or something, I think. I don't there's a know. beastie. It's feeding there's off a of beastie. Memory. Yeah, I think you, Brad. Uh, hacking Vogan asked where to find a temple. For his pilgrimage mm. thing, and it was all like fucking. It's not a specific place. Don't worry. You about it. can't you. move Yo, on. Oh yeah, move on. <laughs> you can't. Um, dumb question. Uh, you should have asked about the dragon. You did. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Quinn asked about the traitor in Summergrass, right? Yes. And it correct. was it was Vincent Malquest or something. I don't fucking know. Again, I don't trust these notes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so trusting the notes will probably give you better answers than not trusting the notes and having no I answers. I don't trust tired past kids. Fucking Big Big, come on! <laughs> 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 oh, Vincent, Jesus. Vincent Bellaquist. Yeah, that's the one. Cool. Uh, fucking Fenris asked about like all of her people that that have been like captured and stuff, and we all found out new shit about Fenris. Petition. <laughs> like, oh. To rename last yeah, right? episode to Big Big Problems. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> big, 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 big. Keep going, Gary. Come on. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Heckin, uh, Miriam asked about the Grand Primaries, right? Yes. Yeah. Fucking no. Uh, Raleigh asked Keep about going. Morganites and tensions. 
Um, not about his mom. And we got to move forward. We found heckin' McGuire and Scandal and then go to whole Big Bang and showed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> McGuire wanted to, like, he wanted to, like, fucking fight alongside us, but, you know, Lexi tried to hit him with the bracers because Dico <laughs> told me to. And then he fucking captured Lexi and stuff. So we all just fucking decided to fight Merkwire and it was it was a good good time. Uh doesn't, doesn't yeah. work with their enemies. <laughs> Yo, right? There you go. Um killed we killed good old Big Big. Um Pride Mom showed up. Uh Defenders seemed to know all about her. Uh Defenders got a Warhammer, Rogan got a pretty sword, we killed Merkwire and we got booped out cold. That's word for word <laughs> how my notes go. Well in a hole. <laughs> Fell in a hole. Yeah. Oh, Did I no. do it? Woke you up did above a great hole. job, Carrie. Thank you, Brad. Truly one of a kind. And the Seraphite <laughs> was destroyed. Yeah, Seraphite. Yeah, uh, right. nice. yeah. Missing one or the other. Oof. You, you guys saw it get broken. Scandal, scandal blow. Oh, that one. Sorry, I thought it. you meant Big Bigs. Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> his is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Big Big. Like, uh, big big posting <laughs> ballads in his honor, the ballad of I Big Big. <laughs> I can't believe that's his canon name. So, I feel like I meant of... to write like Big Bad or something, and it's just or Big Bug. Big Big, yeah, or Big Bug, yes, yeah, something coherent that's not Big Big. <laughs> what are you talking about? That name is perfect, and you should be so, proud. <laughs> just, just cause I want to show him on stream. Kaboom, and, and Big Big. Kaboom. Uh, Oh, is Big Big in sword sword form? Form. Oh, big, big Big Big. It's a Big Big sword sword. We had Big Big in sword sword form form. We had his sword drawn drawn. So pretty. <laughs> oh, Look at it. that. Look at that Zircon sword. That oh, sword so made of the gemstone known as Zircon. Oof. That sounds right. like a Buzz Lightyear villain. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's a th a yeah. Zerg. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Or it sounds like the bad guy from Voltron Zarkon. <laughs> yeah, the fuck? <laughs> it is in or, fact. Or the little robot you can make in R Ratchet and Clank. That's that's Mr. the one I was wondering if you'd bring up. That uh, kid, Mr. Zircon. Mr. Right. Zircon. Yeah. What a All good right. time. Or like that rock. <laughs> 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 uh, what's he called? Uh, Zircon! <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. So you guys at the end, yes, heckin', heckin', no mention of, did you mention Pride Mom showing up? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, just I making did. sure that, sorry. Like that verbatim. Yeah, I said Pride Mom. Okay, good. I'm just gonna, for no, for no real hyper discernible sure reason. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put Pride Mom back. Other up than I have this screen. pretty art and I really want to show it to you. It's fair. <laughs> and it's gonna be like I don't want to share, so I'm gonna have to be like heck an original Jeez. size. And then it's gonna be like I still don't want to share and I'm gonna be like adjust vertical and it's gonna be like I am five pixels long now and I'm gonna be like, okay, well, I tried. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dragging the image around fantasy yeah, ground. Yeah, mine's that thing that too. I lose the trail. Oh like, my oh lord! My yeah, I'm just I'm getting rid of it. Yep. I'm just getting rid of it. Purge! Purge! It, yep. Purge! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it's infected the system! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like Pride Mom. <laughs> fantasy <laughs> Grounds! Could not like Pride Mom. Luckily, she's the background. Um, I didn't know thanks. Fantasy Grounds was a doctor. <laughs> 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 You need to have, you need to have oh been here God. at a specific time for that one. So, you guys, after what happened, uh, at the end, after destroying the um, the Seraphite that was the Sephirite, the the, the, the the crystal that was there, um, after you guys had done that, the area started to collapse, and the battle with Murkwire concluded with the uh, area falling apart. The black, wispy smoke that is below was below the shrine rushing upwards. Uh, the what looked to be draconic-looking spirits escaping from the giant crystal that had been destroyed. Everything blacked out for the lot of you. And the last thing that you guys saw was an image of a single silver feather falling in front of your vision. Uh, as well as a the brief silhouette of the Silver Esper, and then you guys awakening in the grassy fields above. I will let you know, even though you guys wouldn't have any sense of the time, that three hours will have passed. 
Uh, so it is now 6 p.m. I will. So... We can say that you infer that from the, the sun and such. Yes. I, I'm. I'm gonna assume that Lyra and Raleigh were stable when that happened. <laughs> they didn't fucking oh, die. They, will, they. They will have been stabilized. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> This cutscene happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, they died in a cutscene, guys. Oh man, that sucks. Shit. You can't revive if they die in a cutscene. Mm -hmm. That's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Uh, you guys awaken on the grassy fields above. You are uh, within sight of the city, not close to it, but across the fields. Um, you, got, you can see the Skyward Estate peeking out over the the top of the horizon you guys are still within about an hour you're not exactly where you left off uh where you entered into the cave you feel like you're on a area that would have been above it uh quintus as you come to in particular uh you wake up as a very large snout is pushing on you trying very uh oh. very aggressively to to move you and as you open your eyes you see the large form of your horsey boy oh life is good <laughs> <laughs> Winchester. Mm -hmm. He's gonna sit up, looking over at everything. Everyone. Ugh. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Holding on yes. to Winchester. Ugh. Is everyone here? Is I everyone so. here? I couldn't tell you. Oh, really? I think so. <sighs> okay, let's do a head count. <laughs> Fenris will do a head count. As, uh, as you call that, you hear uh, the sound of Lyra groaning as she tries to, to sit up as she does, and as you go for that head count, uh, the clang of two objects hitting the ground echoes from around you guys. One of them near Raleigh. Uh, Raleigh, <laughs> you briefly re reflexively pull back as you see the uh, half of what was Murkwire's sword get dug into the ground beside you, a uh, handle oh, no. facing upwards. Uh, Lyra also instinctively gets back as a large case. The case that she'd been carrying around with her is dropped in front of her. It uh, hits the ground and springs open, and there is a very beautiful uh, silver trim violin sitting inside <gasps> of it. Oh. Oh my god. It said they fell? <clears throat> they fell. I look up. Fair. No shame. I look, the sword, look above me. <laughs> Looking up above the you guys, you see the uh, not unexpected sight of Scandal floating above the lot of you on her broom about 30, 40 feet in the air. You guys, that was fucking awesome. one extra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a sphinx, you guys. Mm -hmm. There was, there was a sphinx. sphinx. It's been a day. Let's go again. No, no. <laughs> we all be dying. down to. <laughs> Are you gonna Count stay up in. there? Probably. Hmm. Fine. Just because of what happened in there, it doesn't mean that we're on the same side. It's true. It's a but result. I thought I'd return your things to you because I don't particularly like the idea of you trying to hunt me down because of what Merquire did. Now that he's gone, I am a free agent. Are you a free agent like this weekend? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, as she's prone to do, flips around a bit. Doesn't remain upside down like she normally does, but she flips around on the broom a bit, spins, lowers down to about 20 feet in the air. I'm a bit disappointed that what he ended up wanting to do was turn that over to someone else. Mm -hmm. I thought he had bigger plans than that. Yeah, he almost had it right. But mm. I don't know why he do all that work to not put himself literally on the top. Mm. Or the talons of the whatever are. Asharu. Be the talons Asharu. of Asharu. Mm. Right. And... If he did have a boss and he's been taken care of, then they're probably... She, like, seems to go a bit inward and raises up again a bit, puts her uh, her hand up to her, um, her chin as if she's thinking. They're probably going to be coming here fairly soon. 
Maybe it would be worth my time to stay in the city for a while. Hmm. Well, things might get interesting if you do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, she rummages around, puts her hand into uh, into her clothes, and she pulls something ha- a palm sized out. She chucks it at you, Miriam. I uh, attempt to catch it. No. You catch what you quickly feel to be the star ruby fragment that was stolen from you. Oh fuck yes, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh yay! As you grab it, as the you guys see as Miriam comes into contact with the star ruby fragment, there's a slight glow that escapes his palm. Hmm. Hmm. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, pretty. There's absolutely nothing special about that, so why is it doing that for you? Uh, it's mine. <laughs> it's yours. That's why? Sure, I don't know. These just do this when I touch them. <laughs> All right. Hmm. One of the many mysteries even I don't know the answer to. Well. Probably something about the apocalypse or whatever. Hmm. Well, now that oh. marquire has been dealt with and your things have been returned to you, I have not any particular interest in you. When a lot of you sit around, you're rather boring. Oh, man. So... She floats back up into the air. I suppose if I'm going to hang around here, I'm inevitably going to bump into you again. I wonder which side we'll be on. She snaps her fingers and she pops out of the air, disappearing. Probably not going to be the same side. Let's be real. I really don't like coffee. Yes, counterspell. (laughs) Counterspell. All right. (laughs) She she narrows her eyes, snaps her fingers again. Counterspell. Counterspell. I can keep doing this if you can keep doing that. I can do this all day. I've got infinite counterspells. I've got a Whoa. ring of counterspell. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Fenris will just pat Miriam's back like, better luck next time. No. Mm. I mean... Are we? Yeah. I mean, I don't like her. I think you can do much better. Mm. Uh, that is Probably. Well. Mm-hmm. I won't help you if you get hexed again. Mm. Or cursed, <laughs> for that matter. Are you sure? We had so much fun last time we got rid of a curse. Mm. <laughs> 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 She'll just ignore that. <laughs> uh, Logan. Yes. Are we near the the cave that we were just in? You guys are. You assume to be a good deal above it. Um, because whenever you went to it, you had to go down like some cliff faces to reach the entrance to it. Uh, as you wonder this, I was actually about to bring up. Um, as you wonder exactly where your orientation to the cave is, you guys in a in a moment of silence after scandal disappears and you all have a a, a brief moment of joking among each other uh you hear this faint scraping sound you all notice it collectively and as you all stay silent you notice that you can feel this light rumble under your feet uh a rhythm a rhythmic sound that matches the sound of digging that you guys had heard when you were inside the tunnel of scraping and rubble being moved as if some it's it's very faint and not close by, but it's dramatic enough that you can hear it, or you can hear it lightly and feel the earth shifting under your feet ever so lightly when it happens. Oh. I was gonna say, like, we still have to deal with that digging thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like whatever that is either isn't taking orders from Merkwire or doesn't know that he's dead. Yeah. Yes, I suppose we can't reasonably ignore that forever. We're all kind of hot right now, though. Mm, mm-hmm. I'm fine. Sure. Now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll go mm. deal with it. <laughs> no, you can't go by yourself. But I have a fancy sword now, so it's fine. They could still outnumber you, like a whole bunch. Like, don't go. Speaking of that fancy sword, Fenrith, what was that lady? Mm-hmm. Dude. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have oh, anything to do with my sword. <laughs> she gave you your sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my sword. My sword's not a lady. Is my sword a lady? Hmm. Are you a woman? <laughs> Stroke <laughs> <a> sword. sword. <laughs> so, I mean, that might be my favorite woman. No. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Sword. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Mrs. Yeah, big? big. Fo- <laughs> I know I distracted us, but focus up. 
<laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know how to really describe her. Uh, this is my first time seeing her in the material plane. She is... Where'd you see her before? Yeah. Oh, my dreams. Indeed, yes. Your dreams? Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. not... Definitely not Quinn, is it? No, I don't. Uh, no. Uh, so, like, who is it? I call her the Pale Lady. Uh, she mm. doesn't usually speak. That was actually... Oh my god, she spoke to me! No. Oh! <laughs> okay, just... Okay. Back on track. Um, no, she doesn't usually speak, so I've never gotten her name. So I just called her the Pale Lady for a really long time. Not to anyone, because I didn't... You guys are actually the first to really know, besides... I mean, I didn't really tell Lefluis, but mm. I asked if God's really contact people in their dreams all the time, and it seems to be a, a just-me thing. Um, oh. Oh. She used to... She used to play memories for me, and uh, I would find her as someone replacing... Well, replacing them in my memories of them. Hmm. So we can assume that she's thing. benevolent. I hope so. Uh, her showing up means that we must be on the right track. It's good to know. Yeah, yeah. if you trust her, then yeah, I, I think we can. I more than trust her. I practically worship her. So if you have to choose between her and Tequin, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Does Jaquin have a problem with you having a god on the side? <laughs> Damn! Have a side god? <laughs> and work! Oh, yes! Work. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Neat. I also got the one that has the circles underneath this time. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Heck, heck yeah. He's so fucking pretty. It's true. Pale. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Heads pale, lady. Got some mm. sunshine, lady. <laughs> Can do it. <laughs> well, oh, knowing spirit. that she is benevolent, at least to, to your eyes, mm -hmm. that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So what do we want to do about that digging thing? Hmm. Maybe tell people in town? <sighs> tell the guard? Mm. I guess. Didn't we try to warn people, but they didn't do anything? And we're going to. I feel like I remember that, yeah. Luckily, we feel it just beneath us this time, so it doesn't seem like it's going toward the city. Does it seem like it's heading in the direction of the city? It's impossible to tell what direction it's moving in. Like, you're feeling the faint mm -hmm. tremors from, like, a, a very, from a, a ridiculous depth. You're not close enough that you can really pinpoint anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can just take a, a shorter rest. And maybe try and deal with it ourselves. Could get behind that. I suppose. If you think that's the best idea, then okay. Uh, we could at least... Check it out, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yes, do a little recon, make sure we're not getting in over our heads, and uh, see what we can do. You were mm -hmm. saying something, boss? Lyra is, like, kind of paying attention to you guys. She's at this point uh, refitting her violin, like, onto her shoulder. You can tell that she's mostly mm -hmm. preoccupied with it. I'm not against the idea of trying to go in and go after it, if you want to. Um, you got me back what I wanted, so... <laughs> I suppose this means I have to hold up my end of the deal, and I need to do whatever my guild tells me to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still pretty hurt after what happened, though. Yes, and you need to rest in particular. Mm -hmm. I 
Raleigh and Lyra <laughs> look to be in particularly bad shape, having only yeah. gained the one hit point each. I also brought you back to life. You so both you probably... still look as though you're unconscious. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 can I tell if Lyra's. It's, it's, I'd, well, Miriam, I'd certainly like to be. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> I'd no, I get be... that. I'd it's rather be bad. resting at the moment. She'd rather be asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's uh, saying. It's not an innuendo. Uh, like I, I'm not saying I'd rather have the unconscious condition that denotes that I'm making death saving throws, if that's what you're reacting to. That's, that'd be a strange thing to say. It would be. <laughs> Perhaps it may be best then. Same. Perhaps it may be best then for our new recruit to maybe head back to town and collect her things. <laughs> Jeez. Looks to you as she does. She pulls the uh, ah, geez, I don't I actually, I don't, I'm, I'm blanking on what it's called. The the, the thing you used to play a violin, the the, 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 the violin, yeah, the, yeah. the what? The bow. The bow. The bow. The bow yeah. Thank you. The violin stick, as I'm going to call it, despite now having <laughs> the answer. <laughs> she, she pulls it along the violin. It lets out this very soft um, harmonic note, as if multiple instruments are being played at once. As it does, she's going to cast cure wounds on herself. Nice. Nice. And almost oh. defiantly, as to tell you that she is not willing to hang back, she is going to give herself <laughs> back some hit points. Oh. All right then. If that's the case, she's going to give herself back a ridiculously low amount of hit points, but <laughs> oh, not a hit girl, points. No. I have no way of knowing that. <laughs> Third oh, level cure wounds restores ten. Oh my oh. god! Oh. She oh. A one and two twos. You did it. Oh no. Oh, sorry, no, eight. She restored eight. No! Then let's give I'm basically back to rest. new! <laughs> um, let's even give ourselves if we... a little bit of time to sit down, then. Okay, hey, um... Even as we rest, I will... I don't know about the other spellcasters in the group, but I'm running a bit low on I'm fine. I can't imagine that okay. this beast could I'm be... Fine. I'm okay. I can't best. imagine this beast okay. could be as threatening as what we just went through, but... Let's yeah. try to keep on our guard. Mm-hmm. I have, like, one hit point left. I would like to sleep. <laughs> oh. Also, picking up the fragment of the sword. Anyone mind yeah. if I take this? We'll just Does hold it by the, the handle, <laughs> not by the blade. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, enough of it's broken off that, um, mm. it's enough that it could stick into the ground, but, like, Compared to a normal blade, there's about, like, half of a short sword's blade left on it after the pale lady caused it to shatter when she showed up. Yeah, Hecken, is that still <sighs> giving me vibes of Amnesis situation? So, when you look at it, before it gave off a strong glow, as Messite tends to do whenever it's active, but a lot like Raleigh's um, Messite dagger, uh, it appears, to, it's not quite as entirely inert, but it does look like it's now more on the faded side. The uh, the glow coming off of it is is very, very faint, as if shattering the blade had disrupted some construction that allowed it to function properly. Mm, I managed to have my then. eyes to the sword. I don't like it. Hmm. Neither do I. I. But... Neutral on it. So certain... Scaly beast, you would like this ASAP? Mm. Yeah, that thing's terrifying. Yes. Mm, yeah, no, that was yeah, very. <laughs> I will, uh, I will get rid of it as soon as I can. Am I All right. Picking up that the group wants to take a short rest then. Yes. There is one thing <laughs> left though. Oh, uh -huh. here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit down. Here we go. Here we go. This is on you. <laughs> As people go and start sitting down, however, I will look over toward Fenris, not having sit down. Uh -huh. That being said, Fenris. Yes. <sighs> he like rubs the back of his head and just kind of like looks up. Scandal said that she returned everything to us. Mm-hmm. And our original thoughts was that, well, we saw how Kitty got inside of that place. 
Right. And we know what was inside my box. Mm, yes? <laughs> Do I know this? What was inside my box okay. was a Constella Queen. Yeah. Okay. One right. that was handed down through my family. And one that me and Kitty have made our way here to collect. And that item rests on you. She's been, like, tossing the Warhammer in between her hands as, like, an idle motion, and then immediately almost misses it and catches it as it's, like, clattering to the ground. <laughs> uh, mm, this? This, this Warhammer? Yes. That is the item which I need to obtain so that I might take over my family and mine and Kitty's mission so it could be complete. I request that you give it to me. All the life leaves Fenris's eyes. <laughs> and she's just looking down at the fucking Warhammer and back at him. Oh, I see. Mine from your moments. Uh, uh, I... Uh, mm. You seem hesitant. Quintus, my lady, gave this to me. I am not I completely sick. understand you. But it was not hers to give. I suppose not. Is this like a private conversation or is this? No, I'm having it right there. <laughs> hmm. May I take it, Fenris? She starts <laughs> extending it out to Quintus. He will. Is it originally your family's? Yeah. Like her hands where, are shaking. Find, where, where did your family get it from? You'd have to ask Unkunk about that. I mean, maybe maybe it belonged to her in the first place, and maybe it is hers to give. It, did it belong to you in the first place? No, the, the, the god that gave it to her, the fair lady. Perhaps, uh, if, it, if I may intrude, um, <laughs> perhaps our futures are more intertwined than you expect. I or sure hope like, so. No. Perhaps together we can use this hammer and put it to good use. I completely agree with you. Is he still he moving to out for it? <laughs> 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 he puts his hand around it if you let him. Yeah, she's letting. She doesn't let go. <laughs> this is like taking a toy from a kid. There's a slight <laughs> tug as you take the hammer. There's just like, well, thank you. And she's like, fine, take it. And you take it. And she doesn't yeah, let go. Like, she stumbles mm -hmm. for it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. why aren't you taking it? I'm giving <laughs> it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad energy. I, I pull on it for a second and I just look down toward Fenris. I do need this. This was our entire reason for coming. May I please take it? Well, I suppose if you put it like that, and she's gonna let it go and then turn, like, plop down on the ground, huff. Oh. My lady always knows the right way, though. She must have had a purpose. Was this mission complete? Kitty. Yeah. Here it is. You did it. <laughs> it's what we've been here for the entire time yep. by taking this I have ascended to the head of my family and now our heirloom can finally go back to where it truly belongs Fenris he hands it out toward Fenris <laughs> oh. <laughs> she'll like you can shakily it get up <laughs> and you can see her knees are like fucking shaking she takes the hammer back, looks at Quintus, looks back down Just at smiles. it. smiles. Fucking <laughs> oh, drops it in between them. 
And for the first time, Fenris fucking hugs Quintus. <gasps> Beautiful! Oh. Yes! <laughs> I won't let you down! I have so many people I need to prove wrong! No! Yeah, that is all okay. Just as like she's hugging, patting her, looks over toward Lyra and Kitty. Both of you saw it! I became the I became the head. I was mine to give. It's been seen. <laughs> It'll find its way in a song. <laughs> Revolt with me. I'm gonna be real. Maybe maybe a poem. <laughs> it's just like you saw it. It was mine to give. <laughs> the whole time he's like doing this, she's just clanging on. Like everyone saw it. Everyone. As she's just being dragged around by Quintus. No. And now when she lets go, she's gonna like put both of her fists up. And now I shall fight as ferociously as you do. And she'll do two punches forward at his armor, but not punching him. And then pick up the warhammer. Oh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, that's really strong metal. I hope you do. You now hold, you now hold a relic of House Valor built and all that comes with it. Including. It's mostly parties. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at those. I Take hold of not... it, my champion. <laughs> oh, oh. Quintus, you're embarrassing me. It's not difficult. <laughs> it's not not Let's talk also about Bogan. Bogan's new sword. Also, Bogan. <laughs> yeah. Don't scratch that thing up here. I, I toss the uh, the sheath over to him. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> I was wondering what to do with this. It didn't come with a sheath. I don't it think did. it did. No, of course not. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> don't scratch that thing up here. This thing's magical or something. <laughs> we need Aww. to find a second Idolos to kill and hope it becomes a scabbard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really convenient. <laughs> I grab it. I'm yeah, I only had like the one, uh... the one scabbard for my other longsword. So this is very appreciated. It oh yes, I need to. That monster sword. I, I need to get rid of mm. your old long sword because it's gone. He's gone. It's gone. A fitting blade for He's you, gone. Morgan. Wait, what mm -hmm. happened to my sword? It was knocked away from you, and you never picked it up, and it's now underground. What? what? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I, I start running back. I just imagine him turning. I'm already and start gone. Digging on the spot. <laughs> He'll tower himself out. <laughs> I cast oh, old oh, person yes. on Fogan. Perfect. <laughs> Roll it you. against him. <laughs> you need to be stopped. <laughs> you can uh, get okay. yourself killed. He succeeds. Yeah, uh, well, I'm running. <laughs> that's all I can do. <laughs> well, uh, He'll be back. That room is destroyed. Also, he can't get it without fear, Fenris. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a thing. So. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna fire my bracelet at him, but that might hurt him, so I don't wanna I don't wanna get him. Uh Logan. Yes. Yeah. I don't have the thing in my inventory anymore. Did you give it to him? Yes, I moved it to his. Okay, good. I was gonna try to put it in the party sheet, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> also at this point I'm gonna I'm gonna begin the ritual from my yeah. treasury. Oh, Heck yeah. Ritual. Uh, so Vogan, just ritual. are you are you properly running back towards the cave? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you like this, Spencer? All right. So it takes you. So you begin the ritual and you cause the uh, remains of the sword to float up. You enter into a trance-like state. It floats into the air in front of you, and this ball of what at first is magical energy, this membrane, forms around it, which then seems to turn into. Uh, water that is just on the verge of turning into ice. Like, you can see it solidifying and turning back into slush and liquid as it surrounds the blade. You concentrate on it for a while, and then um, the ball becomes <clears throat> opaque, and what is inside of it fades from view. As it does, it compresses inwards into this single mode of light, and then flashes outwards, and the sword is gone. Excellent. And just to be sure, I'll... Uh... Telepathically contact uh, the boss. Incoming Jesus. delivery. May have been a bit uh, damaged in transit, though. I have received it. With I this, think... I may be able to unlock part of your memory if I can investigate how it works. If I am able 
I will contact you again. Excellent news. Thank you, uh... Thank you as always. What happened? I lost sight of you again for a time. I'm getting tired of that, by the way. What happened yeah. while you were in there? Oh, uh, nothing so mystical. I just almost died again. Charming. I, uh, my memory of the whole affair is uh, a bit foggy, but uh, I think we were saved, and uh, when I woke up, the, the sword was broken. Not really. Saved. Yes, yeah, a little unclear on the details. I am sure they're of no consequence. Certainly hope so. Hopefully the, uh, the damage to the sword won't make things too difficult to make it of use. There is still a spark of magic within it. If I can discern its construction, I... I doubt I'll be able to restore your entire memory, but... Perhaps fragments... Any answers are our, uh, our progress. Yeah, I appreciate you holding up your end of the bargain. He, you feel Morganite disconnect from their end. Uh, Vogan! Yeah. You rush towards the cave, and as you come to it, you find the entrance has collapsed. Oh, we can't even go in there to do the thing anyway. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just hear echo from across as you, as, the... as you approach it, as you approach the cliff side, uh, you actually approach it from the upper side of it, and are like looking down to where the cave would be. You see that there's actually a huge um, part of the cliff above it that uh, is sloping downwards as if the ground had caved in. It doesn't take you until you get to the cave to realize that the entrance is totally caved in, but looking at the earth above it, you can tell that this collapse looks like it's basically gone through the entire cave system. No. <laughs> Flock of birds take off. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds upset about something. I'm just over there, like oh, looking dear. toward the sword that disappeared. Like, oh, that's so mm. cool. Hmm? I moped back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Arrested Development walk, just fucking head down. <laughs> like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I eventually make my way back. <laughs> Well, that so was really quite go? what happened. You... Let's just go home. There's no point <laughs> being here anymore. You lose your big turn, Jetty. Oh. The stupid entrance of the cave is caved in. Oh. It's a bad thought. We can, we can make Legum get you a new big scary machete. Mm -hmm. a masterwork. No, that one was made from my old sword. <sighs> oh. oh. But... Sorry to hear that. There's a flicker of electric energy that arcs down your arm. It starts from your back, where I assume Orbis is, and it just mm -hmm. arcs down your arm and causes your hand to tense slightly. No, no disrespect to you, sword, but <laughs> I've got I've got memories jealous. with that old one. Mm, can well, can this one talk? I don't know. As you say this, <laughs> I mean, you you're feel. You feel the sensation of a very light tingle that begins in your shoulder blade, and you find your entire right arm goes numb. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, shit. You can still oh. move it, but it's it's all pins and needles. <laughs> Floppy. You all right, Vogan? You know, if you sleep on it long enough, you can just have that thing be like a, a limp, a wavy noodle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think this sword knows what I'm saying. Oh, which it? I'm sorry, sword. Is that how it works with you, Lexi? I, I mean, I don't think so. Hi, Bracer. Um, do you have any thoughts on 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 anything, really? Hmm? It it shakes lightly, like you, oh. it's in, imperceptible to anyone else, but you feel it tighten around <laughs> your arm slightly. Oh. It's it's like moving and stuff. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Fascinating. Neat. <laughs> do our things do that, Miriam? Hmm. Nah, maybe. I don't 
really ever. But I mean, it clearly knows things are happening because it reacts to stuff around it. Whether or not it's sentient is a whole different story. <laughs> well, hello, oh. new Warhammer. I shall make you proud. Let's see. Let's see if they can talk to each other. Bracer, this this is Vogan's sword. Say hi. Just like <laughs> leaning oh, it no. towards your side. <laughs> Fenner stands in the corner of this. As you put the bracer the near his oh, sword, no. a small arc of almost threatening <laughs> lightning surges oh. from the blade onto your arm and causes you to recoil. It's a very snappy oh. like reaction that it has to you. Oh, not friends. Oh, you feel, hey, Lexi, nice. you feel a small shake, and you hear the lightest sound that almost sounds like a, the ethereal, telepathic sound of a puppy growling coming from your arm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we should probably keep these away from each other. <laughs> well, well, they don't like each other, but we're friends, that's... Oh, you guys have to be friends. I'm friends with Logan. You have to be nice. Go. Oh. Tries to lean it towards <laughs> again. <laughs> like, oh, oh, no. I want to go stop her from hurting herself. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, perhaps this will this will take some time. It'll be a learn adjustment period. You can't force it right away. Give them time. Maybe set up a play bit. She's all right here wasn't founded in a day, Lexi. What? So anyway, we should just go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got a tournament, what, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Um, oh. today is the 27th still. Oh. You guys have the entire day. next day to do whatever. Well, we oh need my god, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> what time is sleep? What is the day, or what time of day is it? Right uh, currently it is 6 p.m. It is 6 p.m. Oh yeah, okay. I wanted to mention, I mentioned this in chat, I wanted to mention it here. This is the closest I think we've ever gotten to having a game on, uh, yeah. uh, like, have the, having the game day and our day match, because in-universe, it is July 27th, and we are playing this on August 1st. We just missed being yeah. able to have our game on the day that it is in-game. Oh, so if you wanted an approximation of the weather, like, Look outside. Like that this is <laughs> except, for bread, except, for except for with bread. Except for with bread. Except for with bread. We're this, in the middle we're in the middle of a continent, not the edge. This but a <laughs> hotter climate than uh than Van Vancouver is. Um This is this is what it's like. The days are about Rick this long. Vancouver. It's like Norcal. Yeah. Uh, so you wanna go get your things now? <laughs> Looks over at Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'll I'll head into town. I'll pick up my things, and I. Hmm. We have a do cart. You ha <laughs> do you have enough room at your place for me to take my things there? We have a manor now. It's mm -hmm. Great. Lots of space. All right. Then I suppose I'll happily move in. Although, if you're going to start just inviting everybody in the guild to move in with you, eventually, that's probably not going to be enough space. We'll make it work. <laughs> we only invite we only invite those we want to move in with you. us. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Which is everyone. She... She does like walk up, and she does walk by you, and very quietly is like, But if space does become an issue, I, there's absolutely no problem with some people sharing some, right? Oh. Uh, she, like, not, faintly not, not, smiles, uh, walks away before waiting for a response. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me and Lexi can <laughs> share a room. Oh, we share. What? I'm going to get on my horse now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Quintus, I didn't know you knew heat metal. Okay. <laughs> Sizzling <laughs> sound coming from his arm. <laughs> I didn't know she did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, I want to go take my pants off and drink wine, so let's go home. Oh. <laughs> What a good time that so, sounds like. Um, is the group going? Is the group going to head into town, get Lyra stuff, and head back, or what is what is the group doing collectively? I would I would love to do exactly that. Yeah. So we're not short resting before we head back into town. I could you, during the travel. It's like an hour of travel into town, so you guys okay, can checking. use cool. it to short rest if you wish to. Cool. 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 I'm going to hit uh, heckin rest. Short rest. Everybody, if you want to use HD, go ahead. Remember, we got two bards in the party. So, uh, I believe, <laughs> Miriam, I believe that your... Damn! 
Heck my fucking rush is uh, a D8, I believe. Oh, no, wait, no, that's ninth level. It's still a D6. Oh, Damn! Fuck, okay. Woo! We, we'll use yours. Yay, teamwork! This is what happens. You and Lyra have the same, I think, so we, we'll use yours because you're you know, a player and such. That's about right, Lexi. Yep. Oh, <laughs> shush, you have a lot of health. Get out of here. We're not expecting there to be too much fighting, oh. hopefully. Here we go. Yeah. Before we get home. I mean, who are we going to fight? Dragon. Journey, I knew it! Here we go. <laughs> Still pretty fucked up. Part. A shadow looms above all of you, outsteps the battle giraffe. <laughs> not the battle giraffe! Of course, the battle I've giraffe! I've been waiting for you, battle giraffe! <laughs> <laughs> you got my money! <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely get to the tournament today, guys. Our, uh, <laughs> is everyone done rolling? Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of hit dice. Same. Aww. Everyone gets an extra four. Yeah. Thank you. So fucked up. Oh, I did target myself. Ah. Oh, just drag it yourself. I'll delete my one wound. Yeah, I'm fine. Vogan's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, healing. Yeah. Yeah. Healing. <laughs> so yeah. nice. Uh, Shut up, so you heal yeah. the um, Yes. I have a question about about uh, masterwork things again. Okay, mm. what is your question about masterwork How much things? do you add on to things for masterwork things again? Uh, mm. Well, it, masterwork coincides with like the plus one, plus two, plus three bonus, so it's... Mm -hmm. For like plus, plus one. one. Y why do you ask? Because uh, I may want to ask for something else soon. Oh, oh, do you mean, yeah, it's, so, Legum can make, um, plus one stuff with no real failure. If it's armor or weapons, the cost changes differently. Uh, for plus two stuff, it's pretty expensive, um, and he has a chance for failure. I'm looking so. for a plus one shield. Oh, okay. Um, a shield? Uh, plus whenever we get there, I'll get back to you on that. I could look it up right now, but we'll, we'll get there whenever we... We gotcha. That. Mm -hmm. I um, might not cool. have enough for it. That's why I was asking um, uh, beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> Heckin, a uh, shield would be probably the same about as a weapon, given the amount of work that would go into it. So yeah. if I were to grab that, I would have to go get my notes. I'm getting my notes. A doobie doobie doop doop. A plus one you, weapon. It'd be the cost of the shield plus three hundred gold. Okay. So yeah. and platinum or platinum's ten gold, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta update those. Heckin... I do have enough. Yay! Heckin hey! chat. I'm gonna update the, the character bios fairly soon. Sorry about that. They're not totally accurate right now. Aji. Well. Alright. How dare so you? That, so, yeah. So, you guys go into town, and you find where Lyra's staying, which is just one of many heckin inns that she's been bouncing between. Uh, she doesn't collect a lot. She has enough that she can basically carry it all on her own. But since you guys brought a cart in, she will happily put it on the cart, get into the back of it, and preoccupy herself playing her violin. Uh, the entire time that you guys are traveling, you are uh, you um, get to enjoy uh, what it basically amounts to dancing music. But every once in a while, she does slow it down somewhat and uh, plays very somber music as you guys are moving around. Uh, is there anything you guys... Is there anything you guys want to do while you're in town? Or do you just want to head back to the manor? I would like to try to get started on that shield, if possible, if he's, if he's there. Um, Since it's only a day left. Roll me hmm. roll me 1d100. Legum actually might not be there right now. If he's not there, that's fine. Yeah. If, it's like if, you get, if you get a, if 1 to 50, he's there. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yep. So you, <laughs> he's there. You'll bump into him to skip past it. He does seem busy, but you can haggle with him. He can do... Uh, uh, shield plus that, it will take until the next day to make. Are you comfortable with that? Perfectly fine with that. Oof, come okay. close, once, please. Again, once again, party, I'm coming for your contributions. Yeah, that is, uh, that's gotta be 310 gold. Oh dear. I can easily do that. Okay. I will give him 31 <laughs> platinum. <laughs> Damn! Alright. Hmm. Yeah, Could I buy some sense. more uh, herbs and incense to summon Billy? So, you would have to go talk to Briar for that. Uh, also, to delineate that, um, yes, if you, let's say, how much does he have on hand? We'll say he has <coughs> up to six uh, uses of it, if you'd wish Damn. to purchase them. Yeah, I rolled uh, for it, I rolled max. Damn. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's buy those. Okay. Go. So. Yeah, he tends, he tends to drop pretty quickly. No. Bam. 
Okay, so you purchase six, you uh, 60 gold total to purchase the necessary components to cast Find Familiar six times. Okay. Take that off of myself. I was going to ask the exact same thing, Brad. <laughs> yeah. What are you looking for? Health potions of any mm -hmm. sort. We so bought them out. Like, yeah, you guys bought them out. Yesterday. Oh, around. Fuck. Yeah. And so Vogan drank them on! <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad Vogan's alive, though. Yeah, 100%. So We're good. actually... I'm doing this a lot. Roll me 1d100. I'm gonna see if, because we're on the cusp of him getting new stock, I might just re-roll his stock real quick. Mm. Do it, Brad. Do it, do it, do it. It's oh, under 50. Oh. Give me one moment, and I Yay. will re-roll his stock for you, and then if you want to buy some stuff, you can buy some stuff. Because I did also restock his stuff for Raleigh, so that makes sense. Hooray! Briar. Hooray! Bri Business Briar shop, Briar's potion shop, need to generate and then throw them in the shop menu all right click jeez okay um heckin see the real good or real bad y'all don't worry about it and then do 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 four do do two this looks like it's all correct how much do potions usually cost depends on how like strong they are okay that did not that did not roll from what I wanted it to roll from. Heck in. I would like to get at least one revivify, because I don't think anyone's gonna die in the tournament, but if the tournament goes awry <laughs> rye bread. Um hey. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. Stinky! That's weird. Bread for you. Yeah, yeah. Like... Yo yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Some of the tables have disappeared. Uh, so he currently has um, <clears throat> uh, 13 potions of healing, 4 okay. potions of greater healing, and uh, 2 potions of superior healing in stock. And it looks Shit. like he's still out of everything else. How much are each of those? Yeah. Yeah. Normal is 50, uh, 150 for greater, and 500 for superior. If Fenris would like to look at it, I will. I can heck in. I got a thing installed that lets me let people look at oh. shops. Oh dear. Mm. Did that pop up for you? Yes. I would like to get one of the medium healing potions, but I won't have so. enough to get Revivify if I do that. Oh dear. Once again, party, I come with no. Unless <laughs> anyone would like, if anyone would like to contribute I just to spent the majority of my money. I know! I'm not even- <laughs> Quintus out of the question. If anyone would like to chip in for a revivify, that'd be awesome. But How much not, do you need? Like 300 gold for one? Ooh. For Ooh. revivify? Yeah, one. Yeah. Um, I can cover the cost for that. Um, in fact, I can give you, I can give you maybe a 50 if you want it. Oof. So Just cover the cost? Uh, so I'm gonna mark off eight platinum and 200 gold. And that should be, or 220 gold, uh, which should give you 300. Alrighty, so you could buy what's necessary for Revivify if you wish to, so I have that. Yeah. Mark I will down. get one Three. Revivify, thank you so much. Did you want me to take any of that, Aaron? Say again? Did you want me to cover any of that? Oh, that's fine. Okay. okay. How much for Greater mm. Healing again? Greater Healing is 150. I'ma take two of those. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get we'll, one of them. Yeah. We'll let we'll let Bread settle what she's doing first, cause this thing. Oh. Did all right. So you got. Heck I got the... one. I don't know why it said two. There you go. Okay. Be right back. One second. Just curious. <laughs> does everybody have? Uh, only Bread should have the shop open right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can so just you... click buy. Yeah, it should take it out of you, in theory. That's what? cool. It did check the math! check check your money, see that it took it out of it, because it's yep. the first time I've actually used this. It cool. Did. I'd that like you to close I'd ever. like you to close that now. <laughs> yes, sir. Lexi, I'm opening it for you. Bam. <laughs> little that shop window. Thing. This is a cool ever. yeah, th this is a neat little this is a neat little mod. Oh, it's a little cart and everything, oh my god. I know. It's like our characters are ordering things. Whoa. They're doing some online shopping. It's I'm true. doing it. It's crazy. It did warn right. that only one person could properly access it at a time, which is why I'm gatekeeping mm. close it open. Mm -hmm. I did it. I did it. 
There you go. Make sure it took the money out of your stuff. But it yeah, did. Bam. Does anybody else want to buy anything from Briar while we're here? From Briar? No. Nope. Okay. Take that as a general no across the board and close that. Okay, so group, uh, you guys talk to Briar for a bit. He and Legum both seem to be in a bit of a rush. They seem like they're preparing for what they expect to be a lot of festivities and noise over the sure. coming days. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Come back. Hooray. Should we re-register our new weapons? We we'll probably have to wait till tomorrow to do that. Mm. I was going to ask Russian. if the, the mm -hmm. tournament staff are still, like, open, like, uh, they, also, they we got be... a lot of items that we haven't we haven't uh, looked at yet. Right. Yeah. I will say during your short rest, mm. if you guys wanted to, you could have identified slash attuned to basically everything that can't, that remained. Oh, party! Oh. Uh, Is the masterwork uh, scabbard uh, identified? Yes. If you want to identify that, then you can identify that. Cool. I, will. I explained I cool, to some of you what a bunch <laughs> of this stuff did out of uh, out of the game, but we can review in game if anybody needs a reminder. Where is it? Where did I put it? There it is. I was told what the scabbard did, and I'm like, yeah, Vogan would want that. <laughs> Could I perhaps have the orb that shoots fire things? Who has that? I don't know. Um, I think I, I have know. that. One second. That'd be the red. Yeah, orb of inflaming? Yeah, sure. Let yeah. me cast a few more spells before I run out of spell slots. I can go ahead and you can throw that into the party sheet and then you can grab it from the party sheet, Raleigh, and then once it's in your inventory, I can, can identify for you. I think I think it's already identified. You guys yeah. already did that. You, that yeah. one got no. um, manually. Uh, mine isn't identified. Uh, I have a question. Mm, because I'm not identified. there yet. Oh, okay. So. I'm handling these things awesome. one at a time. Yeah. Sorry, I thought, I thought you said we should all have them done. And then I, um, I know, I so get excited too. <laughs> the Orb of Inflaming yeah. is done. It is identified. We can program it into your sheet as soon as we need it. Um, cool. Thank then, you. And Quintus, what are you looking to have identified? Uh, the stone that I got from the, the snake head. Right. So that is the I iron stone, stone of awareness. Bam. Oh. So to review oh, right. that, you do have to attune to it. Uh, you can toss it into the air and it floats around your head at 1d3 feet away from your head. And as long as it's floating there, you get the bonus from it. A creature can attempt to grab it using a variety of different checks or attacks. Um... It, it has, as long as it's floating around your head, you cannot be surprised. That really, really needs cool. to go to somebody else. Uh, who wants this? Is it attunement? Or, I don't think it is. It, is, it looks like attunement. My attunement slots are full, so. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one left. Do you uh, want a thing that makes it where you can't be, you can't be surprised? Sure. You want a ball <laughs> flutter around your head? <laughs> I toss to Vogan. We can be orb buddies. Hooray! <laughs> Orb. All right. That means you both can't be surprised. Throw that into the party sheet, then throw it over to Vogan. Vogan, have you? Did I explain to you, Spencer, what that scabbard does this no, week? No, I was reading through it oh. and I had a question. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. What's your question? Uh, does it stack with? Yes. Uh, yes. It stacks with oh. the the bonus of the weapon. Okay, and it just stays on there for for ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Okay. Once per day. Okay. That I thought it was something cool. you would really, really love. <laughs> and it yeah, does not, that's something and, I really like. <laughs> and it does not require attunement. As you, by the way, Vogan, yeah, whenever you put Orbis into it, whenever you uh, fiddle it around and try to put the uh, longer than average blade of Orbis into it, you find that the scabbard is more suited for a broader weapon <clears throat> than it. But as you put it in, the plates of the scabbard begin to disconnect and shift and meet the size and length of Orbis, and some of the qualities of the of the um, of the scabbard itself actually change to reflect the zircon and stone patterns on the blade. So it looks exactly like it should always have been with that weapon. Yeah. As I soon as you as soon as you sl uh, slot it all the way in, it has this perfect feeling of it would never fall out of this scabbard, but at the same time, it's not hard to try to remove it. And as soon as it's in, the whole thing glows briefly, this electric blue. There's a crackle of electricity down the scabbard, <clears throat> and then it uh, it settles and stops being a nightlight. Uh, I thumbs up at Vogan. <laughs> like, e I hug my dis. <laughs> I'm getting so many hugs today. <laughs> <laughs> You are the most precious boy. <laughs> oh, so great. I love you. <laughs> so if I recall magic this is items, the greatest are, gift I've ever so received. The group still has the uh, the glove has not really been decided where it's going to go. 
the lightning resistance ring uh, still hasn't found a home. Do you guys have any particular thoughts on those? Uh, the... What was the glove? The glove that allows you to cast first level spells at higher levels. Oh, the one that the one that Fenris tried to steal. Fenris tried to steal. Yeah. I mean, I feel I like would... it's good for Fenris though. Yeah. Yeah. No, also, it is. Rogan, I'll also remind you, you have the the Fang of the Red Cobra is also still with you, but not yes. has, nothing's been done with it. I can cast. <laughs> I don't think wings anyone at wants higher it. Levels without <laughs> using spell slots. Uh, also if, casting. If, I if no one's like using the gloves. ring, I, I, I can I can I can attune to it. I don't have anything attuned, so. <laughs> sure. I only yeah, have my bracer attuned. That's like it. All right, I've got your inventory open, so I'll go ahead and throw that over to him for you. Because yeah. I don't have um, literally anything attuned, so. Please don't assume I'm giving you this ring for any other reason here. This <laughs> resisting the lightning. Just shut up and oh, take. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so popular today. Yeah. All right, Don't resist get used lightning. To it, please. You now uh, have you now not? have that nice. ring mm -hmm. equipped and attuned. Okay, and the glove. I guess we have that spinner. I really yeah, we'll give it to Fenner. <laughs> it's pretty and blue. Yeah. It fits my aesthetic, you guys. It's true. <laughs> Who has it? Me. You, oh, you do have it? You may I keep the gloves. <laughs> Just, yeah, the Arcanist gloves are at the top of my yeah. inventory. Gotcha. I don't Please. know when I'm ever going to get hit with lightning, but hey, fuck yeah. <laughs> if if, if Miriam ever missed. If I do, it'll, it'll, be less, it'll be less powerful. If you fight Vogan or me. Okay, yeah. so Arcanist glove. Let me program that onto your sheet Dude, real fucking... quick. I need I that shit from if I make them be friends. You have a potion that's not identified? Yeah, it just says potion on my sheet, and it's like, it Do you want the, glitters you want the ring, in it. Carrie? <laughs> nah, dude, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm saying, if you want it, I can give it to you. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take those lightning hits, I'm trying to make them friends. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do it. I believe in you. That's what happened. So, Arcanist gloves. Boop -a -doo. Uh, three. Regains them at dawn, which means long rest in this case. Bam. Okay, the uses of it are there. It's on your sheet. Um, bam, ba -dam, bam, bam. So you can now cast first level spells at higher levels. Uh, I can use oh, that. That is um, deadly. Three times <laughs> per long rest. Yes. Delicious. Oh, yeah. What level can I cast them at? Uh, what? What level it... can you cast with it? Uh, when yes. you use it, uh, it has three charges, and you can expend mm -hmm. the charges to each one raises the level of what you're casting it by one. So you could cast a first level spell at for, at fourth level, but that would use all its charges for the day. Alternatively, you could cast Damn. first level spells three times at second level, or one at second, and so on and so forth. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna save that at fourth level. For it's a good thing for boosting mm -hmm. healing, really, yes. is what the main thing to focus on yeah. when you is. Or, you yeah. know, fourth or level inflict, inflict wounds. wounds. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I also, rem I I also remind you that uh, just <laughs> nailing this in with your Warhammer, that apart from its smite ability, um, which isn't quite a smite, but let's call it that, right. um, along with that, it also gives you the Investiture of Ice thing. I just want to keep yeah. saying that so that you remember. I know. I will okay. not forget that. This is so Cool. Cause that's that's basically your bonkai right now, if I'm being honest. Heck yeah. <laughs> investiture of ice is a big spell that it's is not true. given. The investiture spells are not given enough credit in general. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, but, if you want to, uh, you can give one to me, and then I'll I'll, I'll give it some credit. So beyond that, oh. you have the potion, right? You wanted me to tell you yes. what that does. Cause like uh, you I, have. It just... uh, is this one that you got from? Where'd you get this? Do you remember? I have idea is this is this the one you just bought this is the greater healing potion you just bought oh yeah. well why didn't it say Aww. so no I'm I, I don't know just, there you go <laughs> let's make sure we switch that around make sure that you modify your inventory so there's an accurate number of greater healing potions reflected um yeah. where's your potion section uh, yeah. magic items potion you have a potion healing one sec i'm gonna throw that into your inventory oh these the potion. games we <laughs> We we make Logan have to do program stuff. Oh, it's more. I hope everyone gets to sit back and watch us be like, all right, one sec, will I program in a uh, greater healing potion? And... Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> while uh, while we sort stuff out, um, I would like to send a package, if possible. Oh, you'd like to send a package, like through the heckin' Amberwick company. Yeah. What would you like to send? 
I would like to send um, where, uh, 50 platinum pieces. Jesus. Two? Um, my mom. Okay. Oh, my God. I would say delivery fee, let's say one gold for a package like that. Uh, given that the contents are actually a fair amount of money, it would, it's, uh, normally it wouldn't cost very much, but they'd be like, we will have to hire some protection to go with this. So one gold for a package of that size and value. So take off 50 platinum and one gold. Would you like to send anything with that? Any letters or anything? Um, to summarize, yeah, I'd, I'd let her know, um, what we're up to, that I'm in Summergrass right now. Um, that we're all about to join in a, a tournament of epic proportions. I'll leave out a lot of that dying stuff. Um, <laughs> just a brief summary that, you know, I'm not dead. And, uh, here, have some money. Tell her high! Prince is high. <laughs> <laughs> as you if, don't if you don't. As you if don't know me, but I say hi. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, you send that off. Uh, you go to the Amberwick Company's um, front area in the near the Electric District. You get that all sorted, send that off with them, make sure the gold's gone into your inventory. Yep. And you are heckin' you're good to go. Is there anything else the party would like to handle while they're in town? Uh, I asked if the, the tournament staff... It's still was. open. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go there... I would be getting, with all the shopping you guys are doing, I'd be getting close to eight. I wouldn't have joined them on their shopping. If gotcha. Then it'd be overlapped, and yes, if you go there, then it's definitely, they're still active. Okay. I want to switch out the items that I'll be using for the, the tournament. Oh, Just the registered items smart. that I have. I'll be mm -hmm. using. Okay, well, I'm going to bring up the registered the magic off. items list. So the items you had registered before were the hide, a potion of hill giant strength, and a potion of greater healing. What would you like to change? I would like to change out the uh, the potion of greater healing and the potion of hail giant strength. Um, you don't have. And we can only have three items registered, Correct. right? Yeah. And though normally plus one items are not counted, your sword is definitely definitely yeah. can't. Uh, it's, it, it, you have to register that. <laughs> I am going to register Orbis Maharaga. Oh. Shit, dude. Um, <laughs> because I need a weapon. <laughs> Yeah, how come he gets to use this fucking special thing and I don't? You could try to register yours. I never said you couldn't. Uh, it's just, you know. It's, it's just, you know. Like, <laughs> fucking. Mm. It's um, bullshit. Vogan doesn't <laughs> listen to reason. I Vogan know. doesn't care. And you oh. want to switch out You want to switch out the hill giant strength potion? Yes, because that is used. Mm -hmm. Would you switch it out for the other one? Yeah. What's it, what, what was it? Stone giant? The stone giant. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I thought you were going to do it for the scabbard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, would that need to be... I mean, it's just a scabbard. It's a magic item. So That's if, true. If, if you use it and they can tell that it has benefited your weapon in some way, then you could get disqualified if they realize that it's a magic item on true, your person. True, true, true. Uh, no, nah, I won't, I won't register that. I'm not, I'll, I won't use that in the okay. tournament. Yeah, especially because it's a once a day thing, you could use that in a fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fair. Plus, like, we can, re we can register items, like... Between fights, yes. Uh, between fights, right? Yes. So okay. if you use the okay. potion, then you could in a future fight register that. Yeah. In. Yeah. So we so. can... We can register tomorrow, like... In yes, you can, uh, okay, you could party. register up okay, to cool. an hour before the matches. You can mm -hmm. change what you have. Cool. Okay. Cool. I also would like to separate myself from the group. <gasps> How dare you? You bitch. Oh. I, we I won't let now. you. <laughs> As you think about what you're going to do, I'm going to be right back. And then I'm going to okay. ask you what you're going to do. Sorry. I'm not going <gasps> to let you spend. <laughs> what do you think you're up to, boy? Who could, uh, who could say? <laughs> you, you could say. You're choosing not say. to. But I, I thought we say. were bestly best friends now. You gave me a hug. <laughs> we are bestly best friends, but you're you're over getting the, oh. the uh, fancy shield. Oh, I see. That is true. I'm, I feel bad too because I only went to go get the shield because I'm like, Vogan gets a plus one. I need a plus one on my on my defense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I stand. I mean, I already stand no chance, but I would stand no chance. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I really then, hope they don't fight. I came back. I need them to fight. And I'm going to share this, by the way, in case anyone wants to review what they have registered. What? Thank you. 
I'm back. What's up? What are you doing? I would like to separate <laughs> myself from the group. Okay. I don't want to let him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go with him when he was registering stuff? You were buying things. I bought stuff, so I can't. Yeah, Fuck. so. Touche. You don't, unfortunately, you don't really have the option to say no. Fuck! Okay, fine. <laughs> I would like to go to uh, Edrigan's office. So then you would need uh, to go to the uh, <laughs> Gates to the Platinum District. Uh -oh. Who has the seal that lets Yo, you guys in? Yo, do you want in? my seal, boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll yeah, drop by the 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 art the fucking legums place. Just like, hey, Quint is gonna borrow the thing. I oh, gotta yeah, get yeah. into the plat platinum <laughs> district real quick. <laughs> oh, be sure to tell him that like we're like the thing that was digging is is kind of you know the thing now. Not, yeah, no. I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I All right, have right, to wait on. for him to get to. He's hammering things. Cool. Yeah, yeah, no, really no, no busy. problem, no problem. All right, Thanks. all right, all right. All right, all right. I go <laughs> back to the Platinum District. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> defense. A wall of metal like no one. So, with that, I would like to go to Edrigan's office. <laughs> you go to the Platinum District, you present them with it. They go to fetch uh, Diane, who returns back to you. Uh, for the sake of uh, expediting things, greets you, asks where the others are, you explain that you're alone, and then takes you back to the that Amberwick Company's main building. Actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no uh, actually, I wanted to see you, Diane. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> he's, lo he's looking for items. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Is that I right? Think they're gonna smooch. Yeah. Not. Are, we, are we, like... Out in the open, or if you say this on the way there, the Platinum District is not as mm -hmm. densely populated because it's separated from the rest of the city. So there would definitely be periods where you would be walking down the extravagant streets of this very highbrow city, and there would be nobody around to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Passing through one of the art gardens that litter the place. I'd like to get some help from the family. Hmm. And what kind like of to... help is it that you'd be trying to find? I'd like to acquire something. Hope maybe pay for something. <laughs> she pushes her glasses up, her eyes thin out a bit more, going from being her slightly more, uh, slightly less threatening secretarial persona to being a bit more piercing. You know that we had mentioned that if you wanted to make purchases from us, then you should meet with the contact hanging out at the Dragging Dagger. I'm not a merchant. I don't right. run this level of the business. Mm -hmm. But All since right. you have me here, what is it that you'd like? He sort of <laughs> shifts awkwardly a little. You know those, cre those dog things that you had? Like, when you showed up mm -hmm. at our place. Can I get one? You'd like to purchase a blink dog? Well, yeah. it's a very specific member of our group. It's actually very funny, because if you had gone to meet with the uh, predetermined person, you probably would have had an easier time talking to him. But since we're uh. here, like I said, if you'd like to buy one, then certainly. Um, it is not cheap what if i to got it one... like, at a younger age <laughs> you, want like a a... you want a puppy it could be cheaper baby. they're not like regular <laughs> dogs is the main issue we do have right. litters of them because we are training them and we could part with one but it will take a while to grow up and it wouldn't be as well trained as the ones that you saw with us that's fine i'll train it myself my heart. My fucking heart, dude. I can't with this. I am looking to see. I know we talked about this. Mm -hmm. There it is, yeah. Sure. I could probably... I could probably talk to the person that's raising them for us. I could probably get you a younger one that uh, has yet to really imprint on any proper masters for 25, 30 gold. Oh, damn. I will gladly pay that. 
Noting it will be some time before it's ever useful for the same purposes we use it for. That's fine. Okay. As long as you're okay with that. Uh, in that case, I will... Um, well, I really don't want to do that kind of transaction in the city. It'd be very strange if one of our people just suddenly turned up with the dragon dagger with a tiny blink dog. Yeah. Uh, it will be delivered to your house, let's say, tomorrow morning. I'll send a man ahead to collect the money, and provided you provide it to, to us, then a blink dog will be sent along. Is that acceptable? That is acceptable. Thank you. In future... Don't come to yeah. me for these things. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> hmm. My the the guy running me totally forgot. <laughs> I used to be I used to be a barbarian, you see. That's yeah. perfectly okay. <laughs> but being mindful of the nature of our business is something that I strongly suggest you keep in mind. Yeah. <laughs> is Thanks, there anything everybody. else I can help you with, or should I see you back to the gate? Uh, no, I'm... All business transactions are completed. Hmm. She smiles and she walks you back. Having gotten about halfway to the Amberwick Company, she walks you back to the Platinum District. As soon as you come within range of the guard, she gets very... Thank you very much, Master Vogan. I'll pass it on to Edrigan. It's a shame that you have to be on your way. Uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um... <laughs> just not like, what? <laughs> no, no, we were uh, talking about Blink Dog. <laughs> gives a very big, unintimidating smile. The guards like tip their uh, tip their helmets to her as she comes by. She giggles at them, returns to when she came. All right, I'll make my way back to the group. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Spencer just writes on his desk. Guy at Dragging Dagger. Yeah. <laughs> Do never forget. Do not forget. Do not forget. forget. Vogan brings back the the um, uh, the seal. She's like, "Hey, I'm glad you're back. I'm gonna head over to the Dragging Dagger and talk to that contact we have." <laughs> you're young. Uh, so okay. I'm playing. Uh, she uh, she basically said that she'll have someone deliver the dog to our place. So I'll have someone go ahead the following morning to be paid. And then they mm -hmm. will then leave, and the dog will be delivered shortly thereafter. Can okay. I bring it to the Can tournament, I just... or are you going to abandon it at the house day one, you terrible pet owner? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. We get back, the fine. whole house is destroyed. <laughs> Mary Mary fine. I don't know the gender yet. Upside down, like... <laughs> Mary Myth needs something to do, all right? Exactly. She can needs I, to read. Can I just minus the gold now? And uh... Yes, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, how much was it? 35, you said? Uh, she said 25 to 30. Why don't you roll me a persuasion check to determine where in that range we're going to settle. settle. Ooh, I have a feeling I it's going to be 30. Crazy. <laughs> I have a feeling. Hiya! Oh, <laughs> 25 it is. Hell yeah, I'm taking inspiration and I'll get a cheaper dog. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this arc. Of just uh, my favorite arc. <laughs> I he went through a lot. He wanted a dog. <laughs> Stop! Jesus Christ! Nice to meet you, puppy. <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> oh, I killed it. <laughs> Doggo. <laughs> Never see it again. Mrs. Dog. <laughs> Mrs. Dog. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Blink. Come back. Oh. Oh, I just want you to call it Blinks or something now. Or Blinky! I was thinking Blinky. Ah, Blinky. <laughs> yeah! Perfect! <laughs> one, two brains, one brain cell. Yeah! So, sure. so party. Can I, can I assume you... Do you, hmm? you have any further plans? Yeah, can I assume you give Edrigan seal back? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know if I should move it out or not. <laughs> nah, yeah, you're, you're good. <clears throat> Logan. Mmm. You said that we, like, couldn't we bet on the tournament? You can. <gasps> can we You have do to start that doing that on the day of the tomorrow? tournament. Tomorrow? Thought so. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You, you, you can start doing oh, that, yeah, on the day of. Cool. Uh, that's, that's one reason why I've kept as much do as they, I have. Do they announce, like, who's fighting who on the day of the tournament? Or the You'll have before? to wait until, um, heckin' somebody is announced. <laughs> okay. But, uh, heckin'... <clears throat> 
Oh my god, yeah. I have to see her tomorrow. Oh shit. Oh, ah! they, even the fighters don't know if they're necessarily in it until the first day. You guys are just gonna have to be in a okay. big room full of all the people that think they're getting in and wait to be called out. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Oh my god. Hello again. Oh god. Yeah, what's up? Do we have to tell everybody who we bet on? Uh, I want a you, secret vote. I want to do it. You, I, I can't vote. make you do anything. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> the most common thing that I tell you specifically in and out of games, I can't make you do anything. I am, I am powerless. Secret betting! Secret, Secret betting. betting! Thank you. Super <laughs> illegal. And after, after the first match happens, I also have some stuff planned for fucking viewers to get a little bit involved. Yeah! Oh, um, shit! But it requires all the fighters being announced first. Heck yeah. That so said, uh, I, I did share the list of who's got what registered. Um... Does anybody else want to switch out anything today, or are you guys fine? I would like to switch uh, things. Same. Okay. I'm just going to go down the list from the top to see if anything's changed. Lexi, you currently have Greater Healing Potion, Scroll of Blur, Dagger of Venom. Is there anything else yeah. you'd like to switch to? Because you said I don't need to register my masterwork stuff, so... No. If it's just, if it's it's just it's... plus one equipment, oh. then it's fine. It's too big of a risk to do my bracers, so I guess I'm staying. You could try to play it off as just being a magic item if you wanted to. I kind of really want to try to do that. I'm gonna roll I'm me. Gonna, yeah. Oh. Roll me into the tower. Roll me a deception check. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. You can do it, Lexi. What else does it do aside from like petrifying things? I can't remember. Now it gives her an immunity to being petrified, and mm. I'm pretty sure that's... And also makes it when she takes the dodge action, it uh, gives her additional benefits. Like, it basically creates, like, a shield around her by causing the earth to, like, chunks of gem to jut up and protect her when she's dodging. Ooh. So, so Carrie... Dodgy so, thing. Carrie... I won, didn't I? I fully won. Carrie... Wanted. Yeah? Janat 20. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm so proud! <laughs> I was gonna keep it a secret and be like, well, they'll, they'll keep an eye on you, but you nat 20 I feel like you would have a good sense of, like, yes! So, yeah. Uh, what, what did you want to switch out, by the way? Uh, probably my scroll blur. Oh, okay. That's not what I thought. I thought you were gonna switch the potion. Have you, do you still have the potion? Well, I bought You just bought more. a new one. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you get there and like, that's not the same potion. I <laughs> know. Up, I remember know. exactly what it looked like. <laughs> it's got too many bubbles to be the same potion. Uh, Shut up. So, moving down, Raleigh, what would you like to change? You have the Staff of the Adder and Billy. I would like to add the Orb of Inflaming. And uh, just to check, like, as far as, like, Billy's registration, is he just registered as, like, a familiar? Could I make him look different, but still uh, basically keep same? You would have to have shown them the familiar and, like, let them know what they should expect to see in there. So whatever form it is you make them familiar with, they are going to expect that to be what you use. Okay. Could I make him look like just, like, a hawk or something, like, with, like, the same stats? Sure. Like, just, like, purely aesthetic? Sure, totally. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already use, like, an eagle or hawk stat block form anyways. <laughs> if I recall. Um, heckin hawk. Uh, going down. Mariam, would you like to change anything? Oh, and the Orb of Inflaming. I, I have that on there. It'll all update in a sec. Uh, oh, gosh. Fen Fenris. Yes, I want to change everything. Okay. <laughs> I got so, a lot of new shit, boy. <laughs> what could you possibly have? I'm going to switch my uh, healing potion with the greater healing potion I just purchased. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the Arcanist Gloves, and I'm going to do my hammer. Okay, so you and you're switching with the other oh, yeah. It's hammer time. <laughs> Are you telling them everything the hammer can do? From their perspective, that hammer would basically just be an enchanted hammer. Like, okay. with Proclapi Silva, it's got a little bit more going on, but when it comes to yeah. some magic weapons, it's like, what really is distinct about that versus, a, like, a Frostbrand? Like, ultimately. Gotcha. Um. I'm guessing that's the same with my sword. Too. Yes, Orbis oh, also I'm basic. Back. Orbis would also be like, well, that's a really cool weapon, but it's like, there's nothing about it that would be like, that is absolutely a god! <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Was I want him to try to deceive. Uh, what, uh, what do you say, Aaron? Oh, just making a joke. Like, oh, all right, now step into the back and we'll have our Inquisitors cast Legend Lore. Moving down. I got Quintus? Go. 
Uh, yes. Um, I would like to take out uh, the Drift Club. Okay. I would like. But that's to... like your. That's like your, your your key move, man. I know, but I, I thought about it and like having a rope tied to me with a door <laughs> might be a bad idea. Um, uh, instead, I would like to have depressed. the ring of lightning resistance. If he makes gotcha. nice armor, only if you to lash a ball to it. No, uh, if you put it in the mouth of the face, just. Thunk. And I would like to put in my potion of speed. Nice. Ooh. Uh, gotcha. And I'm leaving another. I'm leaving the, the last thing open because I'm not sure. Oh, you're if I switching can... the greater healing for the speed. Yeah, because I don't have a greater healing anymore. Gotcha. And then yeah, we go down to that's you then. Then we go down to Vogan, and we've already said Skull Drake Hide Potion of Stone Giant Strength <laughs> Orbis Maharaga. Yeah. Okay. Noting you can technically have items on your person, like you could have the scabbard on you when you're fighting. Mm -hmm. It's if you utilize the effects of items that aren't registered, if you clearly benefit from them. Uh, which also means technically, if you guys wanted, you could have things on you that have, like, passive effects, and you could try to cheat the system a little by being like, Nah, man, I'm just... Like, who's gonna look at you and be like, Oh, that was clearly immunity to poison. Like, yeah. what, does that, what does that look like? But no, whenever I go up to them, I'm just gonna show them my hand and be like, And yeah. this gives... And this lets its lightning not hurt me as much. It's super cool! Yeah. God <laughs> yeah. damn the it. Main, the main thing is there is going to be a lot of mages present from the academy, ready to cast Detect Magic or Identify at will, and if they find out you have been employing things that you have not registered, it's like, cool! Expelled! And maybe jail. <laughs> like, um... Likely jail. Cool. Failed. In that case, bam. Updated. Thank you. All right. Oh my and, god, I'm so nervous now. Oh, I completely forgot. And uh, ah. we'll assume that this whole escapade pushes us to about 8 p.m., 8.30 maybe. What would you guys like to do? I want to take my pants mm. off and drink wine. You're going probably, back to the house probably head home, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say we're going back to the house, Logan. I said I want to take my pants off and drink wine. <laughs> 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 it's happening wherever we end up. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah. I will wait. I will wait to send a message to Unkunk because I already sent him one recently, and uh, I I need to tell him that we got the thing. But and I'll tell him that tell him once I also dated. tell him stuff about the about the tournament. Fuck, that's crazy. You need to stop. You need to correct yourself. Hmm? The whole no. Is so you guys spent a you guys spent no. some time, um, at the tournament area. I would like, um. Just gonna get this up. I would like a 1d100 roll from. I'd like one from Raleigh. I'd like one from Lexi. I'd like one from Fenris. And uh, one from Vogan. Damn it! So everyone uh, but Miriam and Quintus, I'd like a 1d100 roll. And into the. That's fine. Oh, no, shit. It's, no, it's good. I didn't say it shit. fast enough. Okay. Um, and should I roll my Just go ahead and roll, roll publicly. You might as well do yours okay. publicly as well. Okay, cool. Yeah! Oh my god, I got one above Rolly! Well. <laughs> well. Can't believe Lexi's dead. Yo, can't right? I can't Lexi's believe I fucking dead. died. So, as you go to do this, so two things are gonna happen. Did I not Did I not put this in? The, one second. The best part about Femris and Raleigh's is the fact that they are technically on two sides of the 1 to 50, 51 to 100 thing. Yeah, yeah so. dude, it's great. Yeah. <clears throat> Wonder which which side of that is good and which side is bad, if any. Very good question. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, is that what I'm getting wrong? So as you uh, are leaving the area, you know that the training grounds are basically open to the public. Like the the central area, the place where you guys will be fighting is pretty much open to the public. As you guys are leaving, you see various fighters that appear to be looking around it. They're going inside. They appear to be pacing. You see some people that are clearly not very seasoned fighters. You can just tell by their form are like in there pulling the draw like a string on a bow and like aiming it around the arena acting as if they're trying to size up the area. Like, yes, the wind is the wind is good here. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're mm. gonna hook someone's eye out with that. Uh, you guys particularly um, notice, though, among the various people that are in there, there is one particular man that stands out as he's being very calm. Uh, he very calmly walks a bit by you guys. You notice him pass through the facility and move inwards, and you see him walk to the center and calmly seems to just regard all the fighters that are in there. Uh, you see this particular boy. 
Oh. God damn it. Ooh. I was wondering well. if we would run into this one. Holy sh... Woo. Move into it and move <laughs> I around. I use Brad and I'm like, whew. <laughs> I want to... Cool. <laughs> You guys uh, see him in there. You see him seemingly looking from fighter to fighter and very calmly tries to leave. You guys don't catch what happens, but while he's in there, another one of the fighters, again, one of the ones that looks clearly inexperienced, uh, moves towards him and gets in his way as he is trying to leave, and they seem to be trying to put on a big show. They uh, try to push him. This guy doesn't give in to fighting back against them, calmly walks around them. You see this large berserkery sort of man try to throw a punch at him. You can't quite hear what they're talking about, but you hear his voice raising up. You guys are far enough away that you have a overlook. Over, they can't uh, hurt from where I'm on. <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez. The man that you see uh, moves to the side and fairly effortlessly leaves and walks past this large man that keeps trying to attack him. Vogan, I would like you to roll <laughs> me insight. Of course Whoa. he does, because that is his way. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He has gosh. so many weapons. Like, yes. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Wait. Vogan, Hold there's on. something about this guy that particularly. I would like to use saving face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people. I'll add. How many is that? That's like uh, one, two, uh, three to that. Lyra's so here, so. An eight. Oh, is Lyra there? No, no. I don't no, she went away. Oh, hey. Your match is. You're, you, the group is all there, and Lyra is there, but Saving Face only goes up to five, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so five. Getting a ten. <clears throat> Something about him is very familiar. You notice that his footwork, whenever he's fi uh, whenever he is dodging this guy, who repeatedly tries to attack him, and this man seems to, at first, only be dodging him uh, kind of unenthusiastically, but after a moment, after this large man continues to try to punch and strike him, this man's movements start to become somewhat more enthusiastic and almost mocking. And you notice that his footwork, it reminds you a lot of Elmira. I'll, I'll clock that and just uh, keep going, I guess. Yeah. As you, because he goes to attack and as he gets to the exit, he, these two come uh, finally within uh, range that you guys can somewhat hear what they're saying. And, uh, the large man rushes up and tries to go for an attack from behind, to which the, uh, man in the blue robe, uh, aims his spear towards the man's throat, stops, like, over his shoulder, similar to how he is in his image, but just behind him towards the man's throat. And the only thing that you hear from their entire exchange is... Fighting outside the tournament would get us expelled. I recommend you stop. Otherwise, you won't make it to the tournament. Man seems to stop, and this guy regards you guys. You see he's wearing a, uh... You see him wearing clothing and a mask that in particular are distinctly Kahulian, and you catch that he has the ears of an elf as he moves past you guys and leaves, seemingly satisfied with whatever it is he came to do at the arena. I like that guy's robes. <laughs> yeah. He has so many weapons, oh my gosh. Very polite. He does. He understands Very the benefits polite. of wide sleeves. Man, my Kojisaban! Pulling out a small hunk of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had that fermenting in there? You oh, guys I, I in there earlier today. No. You guys hear a voice coming from just behind the group with a very familiar tone. Just very like, man, that guy's really intense. Ah! Suddenly startled, you all turn to see a trollkin standing head and shoulders above you all. <laughs> As you see Effluence for the first time since you guys have parted ways. As you guys, as you guys briefly recoil in shock from him suddenly appearing behind you, he also takes a step back. Duh! What? What? Oh my! I am as Brett. I'm not properly prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, oh I didn't recognize you without you being tied up, screaming, turn on dead. Yeah. <laughs> you guys all had a fight? All right, now. You know it. But, uh, soon. Hmm? Yes, yes, we had a fight. You yes. for the same? Well. No. Tomorrow, it's tomorrow. His eyes dart to all of you as the entire group keeps trying to answer at once. He's like, takes a second. Good. Nice. 
<laughs> I take it things have gone well for you since the last time we talked to each other, because you guys, uh, y'all look a bit more decked out than I remember. Yeah. Hits yeah. hit hand against some fucking plate chest. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> We've been a bit busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Very. Yeah. What and I see that to? you're... Is he changed at all? He is not. Yeah. He, he looks... <laughs> he has, um... Heckin', some of his clothes have changed. He's wearing the same basic style of clothing. But, uh, he does seem to have newer clothes, whereas before when you found him, he looked a little bit more ragged. His armor appears to have been, uh, sh at least shined. You still see, like, scrapes and scratches on it, uh, resembling what you saw before. But he appears to have tried to make himself more presentable, at least, for, uh, the tournament. And I see you're relatively the same. <laughs> <laughs> relatively the same? <laughs> I'm a proper warden now! After I oh. went back with the apple, they finally let me into the order! Oh, I was just about oh. to ask you! I'm, I'm so- I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very I'm happy for you. A proper just... warden cognoscenti. And I got permission to come here and fight. So cool. You came here to fight? Yeah, well, a bunch of academy mages were brought here anyways. And since some of us had to come to guard them, I requested permission to participate, and they said yeah! The gods have answered to you, then. I hope you fight with all the ferocity as before. Well, considering I'm one of the only followers of Amir alive who's actually talked to Amir, I'd say the gods are on my side. <laughs> on both of ours, then. But don't you expect him to be on your side? I mean, we've met like three since we've talked to you. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Don't be that... No. I mean, yes, we have, but... I'm What's sure. That? It's, it's our boy. It's, it's fine. It's fine. That's You'll be fine. An that, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just. <laughs> I just need to find some party members who can help me out with my exploits, and I'll I'll move along. I'll meet some more gods as well. It'll be fine. Oh, if you follow you'll him, have to regale us. More. <laughs> so you made him feel bad. Who could you've done? Well, if he <laughs> follows us, he can see more of them probably. Mm-hmm. So is it all of you then? You're all taking part? Mm-hmm. Yes. As much as we know. Hopefully. Hmm. I wonder which of you I'm gonna get to beat the with... snot out of then. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> Big toothy she says smile. While, she says while just... like, tur like, like twirling yeah. her hair. Yo, yeah. No. Oh my god, she's just like, you know when like anime girls like poke their fingers together? <laughs> Yeah. She's doing that, like, turned away from him, but also evil smiling. Like and that. hey, actually, I'm happy I bumped into the lot of you. Vogan, specifically you. Specifically oh. me? What did oh. I do? Last time we met, you had, uh, you had asked me if there was any easy way to meet with one of my superiors, right? With the <gasps> Academy Priest? Uh, yeah. On the last day of the tournament, he's gonna be showing up to give his blessing to whoever's fighting. So it's a good thing you took part, because that might be your in. Yeah. Thank you for the for the info. No problem. Although you're going to have to deal with the fact that you're going to get to see him very briefly, and then he's going to watch me pound you into the dust. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. He's <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. He's doing the anime girl thing. Like DJ. And offers a low five to... Heckin' Vogan, just... I'm glad you seem to be in much better <laughs> spirits. Yeah, well, I'm not stuck in an undead tree village this time. <laughs> and how can I not be? He, like, smacks his chest. I have my god on my side! And I'm a properly recognized warden! As far as I'm concerned, I'm on top of the world! <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Me too! It's fantastic to see you again, Efluos. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we get to see he each gives other a, in the big, a big, a big mm -hmm. smile that you take to be very friendly, but he unintentionally bears his fangs at the at the lot of you. It's okay. Ah. He's adorable. I would do the same, but I have a mask. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the really I bear my fangs for both eyes. <laughs> I bear my fangs. Wow. Oh, dear. Well, you might want to. Rolly gets arrested. Tonto <laughs> <laughs> appears and punches him. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, With not a lot else to uh, impart on you guys, he quickly is like, All right, I should get back to the others. I don't want to make them think I'm getting into trouble in the town. Yeah, wouldn't want that. We'll see you here then. Yeah, in two days. Looking I'm gonna you. beat up points of Ogan, you, and I'm gonna <laughs> beat up points over at uh, at Quintus, you, and then I'm gonna beat up points of Fenris. I'm gonna kick your ass as he's walking Shit. away. Like, <laughs> Man, I hope this thing is enough rounds for me to beat up your entire guild, because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I wonder if we'll oh, what a silly man! <laughs> <laughs> just leans over to Lexi and is like, "I really hope he doesn't remember I told him he was cute last time I saw him." <laughs> well, I mean, well, why not? Because he is cute. That's nice. It hey, Afluis! Do no! you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Do I remember what? Fan reception! Oh, that... <laughs> no! Ignore oh me. man! They're delusional. Yeah, Not I remember! remember. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot! That's why I want to beat her up so bad! <laughs> <laughs> That's very flattering, Retracta! It's actually a very, uh, very common thing. When you see something that's cute, the natural reaction is to, like, hurt it. Yeah, that's what happened with my mom and dad. My mom beat the crap out of him. <laughs> All right, guys, I have too many pants on and not enough wine in me. Yeah, we need to All right, right, home, home. We need to go home, yeah. Hopefully yeah. before he starts stripping. I will start taking my clothes off. I know. You guys get back. I need 10 minutes for mine. <laughs> you guys get back to uh, the cart and you head back towards the house. By the time you get there... Uh, the sun is just about going down. You guys are starting to really feel the last day. Like, you've, you've taken a lot of pain. Uh, having had the day to rest and get into town, you're getting to the point of feeling so sore that you can barely move. Uh, you eat effectively some of the last food that you guys have on yourselves. And by the time you reach the, uh, you reach the manor, uh, you... See, up in one of the windows on the upper floor, you see Mary Miss Poker head out, sees you guys, points at you very, like, enthusiastically. Waves excitedly at Mary Miss. Mouths <laughs> words as if she was going to say something, continues pointing, pulls a letter out, waves it in the air as if you could tell what it was, then goes back into the window. You guys hear the sounds of her running down the stairs and oh. throws the doors open <laughs> to meet home. you guys. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Seeing you guys are home, she snaps her fingers and several little fireworks go off um, around her. Just little little icy celebratory fireworks in the air. Then she rushes forward towards you guys and she... I I it's not open, but she presents a letter with both hands towards the group that is addressed to the highest standard. Mm. Oh. oh. Takes uh. letter. As you take it, you wouldn't recognize the seal on it. Um, actually, you may you maybe would have seen the emblem around. Could you roll me a wisdom check real quick? Sure. Uh, well, six. You don't <laughs> you don't recognize it. It's got a wax seal on it, but you cannot mm -hmm. tell uh, where from. Mm. Does anyone recognize the seal? Uh, do we? Fenris would immediately recognize it. Mariam, you'd have the general knowledge to be able to recognize it. Raleigh, you definitely, with your history, would recognize it. Lexi, maybe not. <gasps> um, heckin' Quintus? Purely through memorizing uh, royal iconography, you would definitely Yay! recognize it. Oh. The seal on it is the seal of the Skyward Estate. In other words, of the High Lord of Summergrass. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is that? I'm going to I throw this. I open the letter. I'm, I'm going to put it. It is <laughs> in your inventory. Hooray! You <laughs> use the, you use your sword as a letter opener. With that. My, it's just I a letter. I turn on the drift globe so we can see better. <laughs> she, Mary, missed as you take it and you're opening it. She just starts oh. writing in the air, just like this was delivered um, shortly after you left. Mm. To the members of the high standard, you're invited to dine at the Skyward Estate at, uh, in the. Evening of July 28th by High Lord Morian Hollow. As advised by Lord Agravain Kinder. 
He oh, has no. recently become aware oh. of your efforts and around the city and is most impressed. If you wish to attend, um. please present this letter and the included Skyward Estate seal at the gates to the Platinum District, and you shall be escorted from there. Should you That's find wild. yourselves unable to attend on such short notice, the High Lord wishes to great uh, wishes you great luck at the Glass Crown and or as he does for all competitors. This invitation extends to the following individuals. Quintus Valorbilt, son of Lucian Valorbilt, Lexi Hendricks, uh, Arisso oh. Tanwin, Vogan, Fenris... <laughs> <laughs> Fenris Kelberon. Selberon, it's okay, you tried. Does it really Claire say my Quinn. name? <laughs> yeah. And Miriam Lucis, bard of House Valorbilt. The High Lord insists you do not you not worry about any formalities regarding gifts, and wishes to meet you as you wish to be presented. Best of luck in your upcoming endeavors. We need gifts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, we're, we're going? What day is it? Like, is we, it we tonight? don't we don't you don't turn something like this down. It is the twenty seventh currently. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> But the dinner's tomorrow! <laughs> it's not a lot of time to prepare. Oh, luckily, I just went and got new clothes and oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Prepare? Mariam says, undoing his belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, here he goes. Okay, I'm. <laughs> Can't wait to have dinner with a dragon. Or become oh. dinner for a dragon. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm, all right. I'm all for going for this. If, if any of you are uncomfortable, I understand, but this is a, a great honor. This, this is a good opportunity. Mm. Indeed. I am very scared, however. <laughs> yeah, I'm really scared. Cause she, cause she does, she probably does not like me <laughs> or you. Points to Lexi. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I mean, she was, she only put out the hit on us because she had to. I don't know yes. if she doesn't like us. And then she the problem hired is two she people had to, to help. <laughs> and then she had two people hired to help us. Keep True. Us well. Hmm. I think I really, I, I want, I want to apologize. I know I've already said I've, I'm sorry, and hopefully that's got to her. And oh, I need to get my good pants. He just starts walking toward the. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make sure we look quite presentable. We just had the dinner, and now I have to, I have to, I have to iron the. Uh. <laughs> you guys yeah. are all really excited. I'm going to, to wake dress up early. All of you, you can't stop me. <laughs> I'm wake up early, going to town, well, okay. iron my pants. <laughs> I feel sick. Vogan, uh, around this point, you will have noticed that though she was being quite inconspicuous up until this point, uh, on top of the first roof of the house, and by first roof I mean it has like the rising part on the side, but the main section that right. is on the first one floor up, uh, you do, uh, against the setting sun, catch that Almira is present. She appears to be sitting, legs folded, <gasps> arms together on top of the roof, apparent, evidently in a trance. Perfect. <laughs> wow, she ran back here really quick. I'm home, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm home! <up. No. laughs> she opens one eye towards the group and closes it again. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll hand the, the letter off to... Uh, Quintus already left. Um, I'm going to go... I'm putting, uh, I'm putting Winchester away. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I hand it to Miriam. He was going to be my second choice. Put it in my choice. discarded pants pocket, and I will carry it inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Well, that's a uh, sight I'll never get used to. What right. kind of underwear has Miriam got, or is he just going full commando? What's the situation here? Oh, oh my no. God. Much like his sheets, they are silk. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Magnificent. Oh, he's got new ones. I'm going to go lie down. Fenris <laughs> just looks like she could puke on impact <laughs> from all so, of the stressful things. Just as as we are at where we at, we've been just not taking breaks a lot in Nat 19 recently. We're yeah. at about two hours. I'd say we take a break now, um, okay. real quick. Hoorah! I have there are some go. things I want to do when we get back. Same. Yeah. I yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lie down and try not to. Burn. How, how oh, much do you need to go into town and iron my pants? 
I'm gonna, pre <laughs> I gotta prepare so many outfits. Or you could. Jesus. Oh my God! What if you borrowed the hammer, the war hammer? Well, I. It's not flat. Hammer, I need the hammer. <laughs> you get Miriam to heat metal on it, and so you iron it flat with the flat side of the war hammer. Oh, perfect. That's how all parties do it. Let's be honest. Hell yeah. I'ma be right back. Can we do the same? Be right back. Kitty, I need you to heat metal with my battle axe. <laughs> Hi, <Chad>. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I am so also, scared ow. for everything. <laughs> also, ow. Also, ow. ow. <laughs> also, ow. Oh, because I'm heat meddling a battle axe would make it where it hurt me. <laughs> Here we are, on a break. You're holding it with like a Shoot, oven doot, mitt. Doot, on a break. So, Logan, how many sessions will the dinner party last? Well, every session will be an hour, and... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's time for another fucking dinner party game. Party Let's game, go. but with but with only like three NPCs. <laughs> I am so nervous. He for is gonna everything. he is gonna sit down and he's just gonna look at Aggravate and be like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can hear his his armor rattling against him. Oh, he wouldn't be. He's not wearing armor there. <laughs> True. I am going to sit for a sec. Ah, oh, sitting. Oh. How nice. Use the bathroom actually. He will go. He will go in uh, in the fancy clothes that he wore that, that he wore the day before, and he's also and he's also going to basically assume at this point, even though Unkunk hasn't said it formally, that he's representing as the head of the Valorbilt family now, because <laughs> he got the thing. <laughs> Thank you, Diego. <laughs> I was so scared. Uh, I really wanted to make it, like, very serious in the beginning. Just like, I need you to give this to me, Fenris. <laughs> oh, the we had a Red Bull sale. Oh, it me. was you. It was you. you that's nice. Aw, look at that oh, stuff. Quintus. Oh, Quintus. <laughs> oh, today. Today's one of those games. Today has done <laughs> almost... The only thing that didn't happen to make Fenris nervous that could make Fenris nervous is if Tantia like so much as appeared, she probably would have puked <laughs> with all the other mm. stressful <laughs> things. I will, say, I will say I had I have been I have been debating all week ever since I learned what the sheath did on whether or not I'm giving it. I was gonna give it to Bogan. You couldn't use it with your spear, so I couldn't use it with my spear. But like my my original thought was instead of getting a shield, going and getting a plus one sword. <laughs> And then having and then having a plus two sword <laughs> for really... one time, um, but uh, eventually I'm just like, ah, eh, let's give it to Bogan. He's he's the damage boy. I'm the tank boy. <sighs> I welcome okay. back, Aaron. Heck in. Ennis, I I might die. I already said this. If fume <laughs> if fume and Tantia fight each other, I will have to like mute myself. In general, like even if the words are said, and like oh yeah, fume and. I'd be like, <laughs> what's gonna happen if Effluus and Tantia fight each other now? I mean, oh, Fenris man. told him. Can't believe Effluus is gonna die. <laughs> yeah, man. <sighs> like, I'm just saying, I knew nothing you... about F. I knew nothing about Effluus coming back before the whole. Whenever I made my my question and hashtag. He gets a few lucky twenties yeah. on the smites. You can do it. Whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever Chat 19 comes out, you'll see my answer in full detail. But like, if if Lewis and Tantia fight, I know who she's rooting for, unfortunately. Like, she called him cute. It's more of awkward for her than, like, <laughs> oh no, Guy knows I like him. She's like, oh no, I called him cute without thinking. You were all just baby adventurers when you met F. Lewis. Yeah. yeah. Like, with only one he's... attack, with, with one attack to each of your names. Hopefully he's still oh. a baby. <laughs> yeah, man. So well, I can actually have somebody in this tournament I can have a chance against. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> she was like, row, row, fight the power. I can't wait for it. I I uh Aristo, it's time for us to it's time for us to have an honorable battle. I rush forward. Immediate Nova round to hope that I win. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking he Final Fantasy 15's like he's like, let's have an honorable battle. Poofs into magic from where he is and just immediately just 
right on top of you. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out because if I don't like, win that first round, <laughs> we already saw how much you could do to me with one shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Does my time. tail move? Oh, with I need to stay so far away <gasps> from you. I need you. to know this. Does Miriam's tail wag? <laughs> I do not have a tell, if that's what you're asking now. No. Okay. <laughs> but, sure, <laughs> so far as it's a part of my, like, it has involuntary movement. They but. both, they, they both fight, they're just super dramatic, just in Quintus's head, there's like, the countdown from the ref getting ready for them to fight, and it's like, echoing in the background as we just see close-ups on their eyes, being like, oh. In order to win this, I'm going to have to move immediately. As soon as the match starts, I'm going to have to take action, otherwise he'll overwhelm me. I know that he's powerful, so I have to stick to my plan. But I think I've thought of a way. I can definitely outmatch him. A buzzer George, goes off. <laughs> a fucking buzzer goes off, and fucking Quintus charges forward, and Raleigh just turns the other way and runs. <laughs> Freaking given 33 tier one I one saw thumb. that. Damn. Woo. Holy nice. shit. Fucking just firing goddamn Eldritch Blasts backwards as he's running and screaming. <laughs> Stop <laughs> running, Rolly! <laughs> Go it's away! Shame, I'll die! <laughs> I have something off topic to say that might only be funny to me. But the storm is running late. It was supposed <gasps> to hit me by 2 p.m. today. There's no rain, no picked up wings, nothing. The end game, lightning crashes. It's like, yep. hey, I didn't want to interrupt, sorry. <laughs> the only way I can win is to not lose. I actually, I will say, one of, of the main 19. reasons I did the hammer thing as quick as I did was because I'm like, Brett has a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it, like, you take the hammer from me, my internet cuts out, I draw it, and you're like, I guess I'm keeping it low. I guess oh, it's shit. fine now. <laughs> I would cry! Just shouts, get him, Billy! Billy flies into Quintus, Quintus just grabs him by the head and crushes it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Billy! Billy! <laughs> Billy! I, could you do Isn't this? Isn't bad? I was just imagining, him? like, Billy flying into Quintus' <laughs> armor. And like, you know how birds fly into windows? Like, <laughs> Billy flies into Oof. Quintus's armor, bonk, falls back. <laughs> I like the idea Billy! of just, you know, Risto calling back, you loved him! Sees Quintus just ghibli tears going down and just- <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm only doing what I must. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what, what a time. match that would be. Aristo, you're watering down my eyes! <laughs> God, maybe it'll blind you long enough for me to escape! <laughs> you guys, you guys want to know the moment I knew that Lyra had joined our guild? Hmm. Was when Raleigh watered down our heel at the beginning of game. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> I was like, one of us. One of us. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking... It's, it's Tatsumaki a la Orihime versus Yami when she fires it at him in Bleach and he just puts his hand out and it crumbles. Ooh. What was that? Fly? <laughs> God damn. My best shot. Oh, I am so excited. I can't. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Brian, you're gonna have to Shut. pick. Between Effluence and Tantia. I, oh. I already did in chat now. And, and also, new Fuck, Samurai. Fuck, I haven't already right. yet, damn! Uh, mm, I mean, I think Samurai Boy is cool. That's a fully bred decision. The same with Effluence, and the same with Fume. He like, just has so many, now back. He has so many weapons. So Imagine many if weapons. he could make one attack with each weapon around. I'll kill you. I don't want to fight that one. Ding, ding, ding. Nope. Oh, yeah, when is chat 19 coming out? Uh, Monday. Oh, Monday! Okay. Monday, Monday, Monday! Yep. Find yeah, out. It's always the first Monday of the month. Which actually means that this particular month, like the next one coming up, is, uh... We're recording it on the 31st, so it's going to come out on the 7th of next month, because the first day of the month is a Tuesday. That's... Mm -hmm. Literally, it'll be yeah. the farthest end of the month it could possibly come out. 
and that's gonna be me and me, me and uh, me and Izzy. Woo! Yeah. Oh hell yeah! This yeah. day's yeah. also gonna be Juicy Day. Oh thank you. Ho ho! <laughs> it's gonna be what? British Columbia Day. Ah. I right, see. Yeah. All right. Are you guys hacking? Yes. You guys hacking? Ready to jump back in? I believe so. Oh, all it's right. Really awesome. As I'll ever be. Oh, shit. That's the beginning, Brett. No, it'll be fine. All right, let's jump back in. Let's we're jump. Do we're now back in. Hello, we're back. <clears throat> Hooray! Hello. What would you guys like to do? Oh, right. I, I go for all my attacks on Earth, though. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> we haven't started yet. <laughs> we go back in. Everything is suddenly in the arena. Raleigh's like, what? 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 <laughs> I believe. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Dutch blackout and lose it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> the How was amazing. From so, yeah. so <laughs> what are you guys I doing? I am. Oh, I'm Come lying on. down to sleep. Cause... All right, Fenris is heckin' hitting the hay. Lyra's gonna figure out what room Lyra wants. Well, I was about to say fair. I will aid Lyra looking for a room. Oh, where will you? Hey. There's not a lot of them left. You see? <laughs> uh huh. Sure. I. I would like to go hang out with Almira. That makes sense. Do mm -hmm. it. <laughs> what? Lexi was going to be like holding her bracer out at Vogan, and then when she sees he's going towards <laughs> Almira, she's like, okay, I'm just going to leave him alone. I'll let him do his thing. <laughs> I'm going to start picking out clothes for anyone who gives me the slightest opening. <laughs> you said you were going to dress all of us. Lexi will let you dress her. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, give me better clothes than what I already so, have. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we'll, we'll handle the main thing. So you're gonna go hang out with Elmira. So you mm -hmm. climb up onto the main roof. There's no immediate uh, way to get up there, so you have to just climb up the side of the house to reach it. Um, she, as you approach, she is just on the house as the sun is continuing to set uh, off behind you guys. She is just calmly sitting and relaxing. I will go over uh, and just sit next to her, get into a, a meditative pose as well. Hmm. Uh, uh, hello, Master. Hmm. I heard about what had happened from Falsman. With the the Frost Claw guys? Hmm. Yeah. I, I apologize. Was... I couldn't be here to help. I understand. Uh, what were you doing? I've been trying to find something very, uh... <laughs> a personal business that I suppose I don't mind if I... I didn't want to distract you from what you're doing. <laughs> well, I'm not doing much now. I actually grew up here. Really? Things were very different back then. It was a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. But, uh, my father and I used to live here back before the Empire dissolved. And the, uh, the country split. The country split? A very long time ago. When the Simonian, Man Simonian Empire was still in place, there was no discrimination between the races, not like there is now. Back when I grew up here, everyone was welcome. There were actually a lot of elves here. But... When Neromus died, and the countries, the continents split, the races took sides. And the elves had to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And so, I and my mother, we retreated back to Kahulis. My father stayed here and tried to make things better and never came back. So, I surmise that his grave must be somewhere in this country. You've been trying to find it? I have. Hmm. But things have changed a lot since I've been here. I 
don't recognize most things. And I can't remember exactly where we lived. It was well over 700 years ago. So I'm not exactly sure where to look. I uh, wish I could help, but I wouldn't know where to look either. Hmm. If I'm unable to find it soon, I'm probably going to find my way back to the Strike Lands and continue searching for what I was. But I'm going to stick around for a while longer yet and try to find it. Did you? Uh, weird question. Did you have any, like, relatives, like a brother or something, or cousin? Um, I don't know. Why? Well, I saw something weird today. Um, well, I went to go to here. What? I, I have a sister, but she should not be here. Hmm. Well, this, I believe it was a guy at least. Um, I saw someone at the tournament grounds. He, uh, seemed to have really long black hair. Uh, seemed to be an elf. Had the, was sporting this red oni-like mask, like a sort of demon. And it, his movement seemed similar to the way the blue metal teaching. I don't know, he mm. just reminded me of you. Oh. I don't suppose you found out how old he might have been. No, I didn't talk to him. He, uh, he was on his way out. And he's here. And he's looking to participate in the tournament? It seems like it. Yeah. There's one possibility of who it might be. But I would be surprised if they were here. Who might it be? A long while back. Several hundred years ago. Well, a couple of hundred years ago. Between the events of the Centennial Tyrant, I had a student who had traveled with me and I was teaching in the same way that my father had taught me. But we got separated at one point and I did not hear from him after that. It might be him. Obviously, I can't account for the general look of a, a dark-haired elf that could be a lot of people. Yeah. But he went by the name Keen Von Haku. Keen Von Haku. How do you spell that? Uh, Keen is in like kin, K-I-N. Okay. I'll uh, I'll throw it in the in the chat. I can in, we'll throw it in. No, it should be Keen, not Vin. But okay, cool. Appreciate you. Last name, right? Thanks. <clears throat> hmm. He came a very long way. I, uh... He was the last student that I took on before, um... I decided to stop taking on students directly. You're actually the first one that I took on after that, and that was... There was a well over a hundred years in the difference. Wow. Is there... Is he a good student? Very diligent. At the time. At the time? I'm not sure if he continued to improve without me around. Oh. If he's here, I would have thought that he'd have returned to Kahulis. But to know that he's here, hmm. that is, well, interesting, interesting to me at least. Hmm. I'll, keep in my, I'll keep my eye out and ear to the ground. See if I can get a name or something. Hmm. Back when I knew him, he was very eager to, uh, eager to impress. He had uh, not particularly good relations with his own family. So he gravitated to me as 
I think, a surrogate mother figure, and I was trying to train him in such a way as to even him out. I was making good progress as well. He was, at that time, like I was, one of the few people that thought that the war with Retia was a waste of time. And believed wholeheartedly in trying to find a way to end it. Until... Retia made that difficult by murdering all of our leaders. Hmm. I suppose I never told you about that. No. Huh. That's... You probably heard. Well, you've been here. I've heard some stuff. Not that well-versed in history, though. Not of this place, at least. Retia and Kahulis had met a long time back and tried to patch things up and end the war that we'd been engaged in. The king of this country. He was the one that had suggested it, and many of us, myself included, we had decided it was at least worth hearing them out. But the high king of Retia at the time used the meeting as a way to hire what would later become the army that you served with. Mm. Ambushed all of the leaders of the Pavarian Fellowship. That's our government back in Kuhulis. Mm -hmm. And tried to wipe us out. Oh, yeah. And that was the last time that I'd ever been to Kuhulis. I was present for when that happened, and after it did, I realized that my people were going to be incapable of forgiveness, and I've been trying to find a way to make peace without them. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to shoulder. It's my burden alone to bear. Well, the way that I'm trying to go about it anyways. That's why I was rather hoping that eventually I could ask for your help in trying to gather the Constella queries. Because if they really can grant a miracle if brought together, that might be the way to do it. Uh, hold on. I like reach for the sword, pull it out. I uh, got this. It's, um... I think it's... It is one of the Constella Queries, right? That's an no, Idolic Armament. No, oh, right, right, right. Um, well, this and... I think we actually found one. A Constella Query. Another one? Yeah. It's a hammer or something. At this point, she opens both eyes, having, as usual, been just sitting still and talking. Mm -hmm. So you've managed to gather two of them at this point. Yeah. Hmm. You've already done a lot more than I thought you would. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many there are. Legend state there might be upward of... Uh, some legends state that 12 have to be gathered. Some say that only four, and some accounts I've heard speak of there being as many as in the high 20s of them. Oh, jeez. If we have to gather all of them, I hope there's not 20. Stories are different. Some of them talk about if you manage to gather together certain ones that belong to certain Eidolans, then they have particular effects. They can invoke particular miracles. I'm... I haven't been able to get to the bottom of it despite the centuries I've been trying to. In any case, you've already been making me very proud in gathering too. That's more than I've been able to do in all of my years of looking. We just got lucky. That's but... nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he'll uh, he'll start to get up. 
I have to go puppy uh, puppy proof a very dangerous room. So not I. You're getting a puppy? Yeah. I uh, oh. I've been through a lot. Can I wanted to get a dog. <laughs> it's Ooh, a, a blink dog. Companionship's very important. That's good. Don't tell them this, but that's kind of why I like having Falsbin and Skimper around. <laughs> Skimper was the other one's name. Where are they, by the way? They're around. They don't particularly care for other people. They've been warming up to you, though. Falsbin told me that you all are particularly impressive. He likes you more than he likes most people. Those two <laughs> are a bit jaded regarding anyone that's not, you know, a mouse. Yeah, fair. Oh, I like him, too. I haven't really interacted with, um... What's his name? Uh, Skimper. Skimper, yeah. I haven't really talked to him much, as you could tell. He is, but, uh, yeah. incredibly antisocial, even by my standards. Yeah, fair. But, in any case, have a good night. Hmm. You as well. And he will get off the roof and start heading toward his room. And uh, <laughs> he'll he'll start like putting like like uh, weapons on like the new like weapon racks and like uh, stuff like that. And then he's gonna try and wrap all the blades in like cloth, <laughs> just sort of make it as uh, not as dangerous as it could possibly be. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. <laughs> puts little puts little balls on the end of the horns of creatures you've killed. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yep. they're mar they're marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. One, uh, one second here. <laughs> oh, what you doing, boy? Also, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> You're stealthing around. What you doing, stealthing around? I wanna, <laughs> Vogan. Can you roll up fucking perception for me? Uh oh. What are you yeah, doing? man. Oh, he's trying to get your. He's trying to... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like directly behind you with like a clothing measuring tape. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, this will work. Back to uh... the shadows. Half a rate. Measure. Fate. <laughs> 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 Dude, Defendus is like trancing, like laying on the bed. He's just mm. measuring her while she's laying down. I'm, I'm, <laughs> like I'm fucking. Just imagining, I'm just imagining, like, in order for it to like actually him be hidden, he just waits for him to come back in, holding up the tape, and then like as he goes by the door, it's just like for a second he just looks at the number and then just smiles, <laughs> like he was just <laughs> waiting for him to go by. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Perfect. laughs> Perfect. Skitter, skitter, skitter. <laughs> skitter, skitter. Skitter, 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 skitter. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that's all I'm doing. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? You're sleeping. Yeah. And I'm trying, you, I'm trying which, to you know, as an elf, you're making the decision yeah. to sleep. Yes. Kind it of. took me so long to know that you could do that as elves. Yeah. Yeah, you can choose I to sleep. Can. I yeah, you, you don't have to trance. You don't. You just don't need sleep. Mm -hmm. oh. No, I'm, oh. I'm so choosing cool. the sleep in no order idea. of the pale lady showing up. Oh. I will get to what you're doing in your sleep once I know what everyone else is doing. Uh, once uh, I'm just I'm just helping we'll Lyra get to, get uh, get to her room and stuff. Cool. Sure. Once Raleigh is done measuring me and whatnot, uh, heckin, I'm gonna go to Rogan's room and see if he's there. Knock knock. You see, you find him uh, wrapping blades with cloth. Pillows taped you, to the walls. Are you lexi-proofing it? No. <laughs> yeah. What, oh, what you doing? Hi. hi. Uh, what, what you doing? I'm making this room less dangerous. Oh, okay. Did you, like, cut yourself or something? But I thought you loved danger. No. <laughs> I'm preventing things from getting cut. Okay. Well, why? Because... Okay. Um, so I think I've been thinking about just because of like the letter and like the way everyone's names was read off of it. I keep forgetting that you don't have a last name. 
I do not. Mm -hmm. I used to have a title. Um, really? Like, oh, yeah. What was it? But Head splitter. <laughs> uh, it, it was corny. It was, it Devourer was of eyeballs. <laughs> let, them t let them talk, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll go mute. What was it? Uh, Vogan the Cruel. Oh, that's not a very nice name. It was it was nice to me at the time, <laughs> but mm. yeah, sort of moved past that uh, that era. I mean that's good. Hmm. Yeah. So like I was thinking, do you like do you want a last name? I don't really need one. Yeah, but like it'll like it'll sound better. Like instead of just like the one name, you could have two. That sounds greedy. It's not, and then it's kind of like everybody else has two names. Oh, I mean, apart from like Winchester, but like everybody has two names, and it, it would be neat. And like, um, we're a guild, and we're like a family and stuff. So like, you could take like one of our names, and I mean, everybody else's is kind of like important because they have like special families and stuff. But like, mine's made up. So if you want, you could just have it, or we can make up one for you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Quintus would be super keen be, on me taking the Valor Built name. Logan really, Valorbilt. He'd be really, really mad, but it would Let's sound go. really good. <laughs> Vogan Valor Built sounds really good, but he'd be really, really mad, so we probably can't do that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't really need one. It's, okay. People probably aren't naming their kids Vogan. It's unique enough. They probably know who Vogan is. But mm. if you want to give me one, then you you can come up with one. I mean, you can have Hendrix if you want. I mean, do you want me to have it? I mean, I don't mind. Like, Alzondi took it, so it's cool. Mm. Whatever. Call me what you want. Oh, okay, yes. I just wanted to ask you. I mean... I'm not opposed. Not. <laughs> I don't know what you want. I don't. I don't care for a name. No, it's just the thing I was thinking about. You can take it, or you don't have to. Or we can make up something. Or your last name could be Krull if you want it to be. No. Fogan Krull. No, I don't. I don't think I'll be doing that. Okay. If you think of a last name you want to give me, then you you run it by me. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna think about it really hard. All right, I'm gonna okay. keep wrapping things in cloth. Mm. <laughs> Have a good night. Icy red baby, you know what I'm saying? Vogan. Vogan red like, baby. We can red be like brothers baby. and share the same bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one word. Vogan red baby. Yeah. <laughs> red baby. <laughs> Okay, you get back to your weird wrapping safety thing. Thanks. Okay, bye. And then I leave. All right. <laughs> so, a uh, heckin' Vogan, the yeah. door closes, uh, Lexi leaves, and then moments later, there is another <laughs> uh, very quiet knock at your door. Oh my god, you're so popular today. I am, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've accomplished so much in one day. Vogan campaign, Vogan campaign. Vogan campaign. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, uh, I will open the door. As you open it, you see, uh, initially looking a little bit above where they are, then looking down to meet their eyes, you see Mary Mist with her arms full of additional cloth and nails <gasps> and other things. Oh my god, you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> no peace. He will <laughs> attempt to uh, take them from her. She walks by you into the room and starts doing it herself. All right, there you go. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. Okay, All right, gonna... Mary Miss. He'll close the door behind her. I, she just I... spells out in the air, I heard dog. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you got it. Let's get to let's, let's get to work. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> she goes to town enthusiastically, um, mm -hmm. trying to help you. She undoes a lot of your work only to redo it. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> fair. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> just like, oh my God, <laughs> she's a magician. <laughs> uh, uh, the the rest of the people in the house. So, assuming no one else bothers Fogan, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Sleeping. Poor I mean, I know. Uh, Mariam, are you? Is that you that's been snoring, or has that been Brad? No. Oh, no? I've been, no, mm -hmm. I haven't been snoring. What are you doing, Mariam? Oh, I am I am drinking in my room in my boxers, and I'm going to use shape change to uh, look like human, Mariam. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> and stare down at my human legs and <laughs> my human arms. <laughs> uh, Quintus, what are you doing? Uh, again, mostly just letting Lyra uh, pick out a room, yeah, which I think there's only like two. <laughs> and then you're, then are you going to sleep? I will probably head to bed. Yes, because he, because I will. Uh, he, he, he's like, I need to get clothes done. <laughs> and Raleigh, you are trying to get every stuff prepared for everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making the nicest outfits I can muster. And Lexi, what are you doing post all that? Uh, probably going to me and Fenris' oh. room. And, oh, what? <laughs> You're arguing. I'll let you do that. Okay, now I'm just gonna go to, like, me and Fenris' room, and then I was just going to. Oh, yeah. uh, Alright, you're gonna, like, go to sleep? Yeah, I'm nap. I don't want to be that guy, but I do need Kitty to take off my armor. <laughs> 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 I don't, it's not that I want to interrupt his being human time and, and like, see him human, but... You, you, you enter his room going to seek him out to help get your armor off. Uh, you do see him drinking with the visage of a human. The visage of a human. <laughs> Kitty, I... How normal is this for Kitty? Uh, you've never seen this before. I only got this spell very recently. Okay. Kitty, I... Uh... Um... Thank Kitty? You. <laughs> My, uh, a lot like, um, oh, the, the, you just see starting from about halfway down my body, you see it ripple back as purple slowly grows along my skin, and I turn back to normal. I'm ready for you. Uh, 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 what, what, what was that? What, what are you up to? Yeah, just playing around with this, kind of. Hooks a thumb into the armor. Oh, and, um, and drinking. Ah, uh, you, you, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I, I was wondering if you could help me with, uh, with, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, lead the way. <laughs> you're, you're the only one that really can. Are you sure you're all right? I'll be okay. Hmm. Ah. Uh. After you, after we do this, you wanna, you wanna drink some? Way ahead of you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want to hang out with Kitty a bit. <laughs> He'll hand you the bottle and start undoing different clasps and ties. <laughs> if, if Kitty lets me, I want to hang out with Kitty a little bit. Yeah. Yay. Do you guys want to do anything specific or just hang out in general? Uh, there's something I want to talk to Kitty about, but tonight does not seem the night, especially with what just happened I, there. I get that. <laughs> uh, Fenris, I will say that for the sake of it, you would have noticed but not paid it much mind. But Lexi, whenever you go into uh, your room, you will see that Alzandi is heckin' sitting on the bed where you would be. His lazy fox eyes, half closed, looking towards the door whenever you come in. Oh, I'm gonna turn into a fox. <laughs> And, and go to the same bed that he's at. All right, I can. Yeah. He stands up and like steps to the side as you jump up onto the bed. You can Starts... playfully bap him with a fox paw. <laughs> <laughs> Take your paw and you like put it on his head. He yeah. briefly, briefly gets into like a charging stance and then stops and relaxes. Bam, Starts yipping at you and Fox. <gasps> What's he saying? He's saying yip, 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 yip. <laughs> oh, I say bork, 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 bork. Oh, the best roleplay. Yeah. <laughs> he 
See, Karen, I would have understood that if I were. I fucking told them what you were trying to fucking play. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't fucking... seen you in a while. How have you been? In Fox. In Fox, of course, yeah. I've, I've been pretty good. Um, some scary stuff's been happening. Um, but it's okay. We, we figured it out. How have you been? I've been mostly it's, tagging along with Elmira. She's very, uh, she's very chill. Hmm. Well, it seems like you guys would get along. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't really seem to pay me much mind as I follow her around. I get some weird looks from those rats, but it's better than what I'm used to. Mm, I get you. Um, I think, uh, I'm not sure what she's been looking for. I haven't really bothered to ask since, you know, yip yip. But mm -hmm, bork, bork, mm -hmm. I'm getting the sense she's going to leave fairly soon. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think she would have come back here if she didn't plan to leave in the near future. <laughs> That's she doesn't probably... seem like she's terribly content staying in one place. So are are you planning on leaving with her? Haven't decided yet. I, mean, I heard I through like the grapevine that you're going to be competing in some kind of competition. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to stick around and see how that went for you. <gasps> but, I'd, uh, I'd really like it if you'd stick around. I, I like having you here. I rather like being here. The hmm. main thing is... Elmira is very tranquil. She has literally no expectations for me, and she's very quiet. I, uh... I feel very at peace when I'm with her. And I get the sense... I get the sense that she's very alone. So... I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but... I mean, like, how how have you been feeling? I mean, it has to be like a huge adjustment. Not well, I've been stuck in a mirror from. for months, so as of getting out and being allowed to just kind of hang out and follow around a pretty elf, it's pretty, pretty good. relaxed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. You just meant, like, not being able to, like, transform and stuff. I don't really miss it. Oh, the no? siblings each had their elf. Yo, right? <laughs> Honestly, I don't really miss it all that much. No? Uh, being able to take on a humanoid form is fine, but we spent most of our early lives trapped as foxes anyways. Mm-hmm. It's, uh... I mean, I don't need to eat as much, because I've got this tiny little fox body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now that I'm locked into it, I'm not magically turned into a fox, so I can eat just enough for a fox to survive, and it 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 does me in. Whereas before, I'm not. I shouldn't need to explain this to you, but still got to eat enough for a person. Otherwise, mm. it's weird. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, it's really sweet that you want to like hang around Almira, and I think that might be good. But at the same time, I think you really need to try to think about what's going to make you happy because you haven't really gotten to think about it before. You know? As long as I stay free and I'm allowed to do whatever I want to do, I think that's about the closest to happiness that I could possibly ask for. Hmm. Well, if you decide to stay, I'll be really, really happy. Um, and if you decide to go with Almira, then you're always welcome to come back because you're totally a member of the highest standard. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I did leave my signature with the guild, actually. <laughs> <So>. <gasps> really? Little paw print, little boop. He like boops your head <laughs> with his paw. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Even if I did decide to go with Almira, I have a feeling that I'd eventually find my way back to you. She seems <laughs> particularly interested in you. Otherwise, I feel like we would have just wandered off romantically into the sunset and never returned to this house. <laughs> oh, well, I think she's she's mostly interested in Vogan, like really. But yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How about you? After this tournament, after this competition, you're going to be taking part in. You're trying to find uh, 
You're trying to find Kevin, are you not? Yeah. Um. We, we kind of met like a, a sphinx thing that like offered us like questions like they would answer like any question for us and the, the first thing I wanted to ask was like where Kevin is but then that that kind of felt really selfish of me so I instead asked about like curing amnesis and stuff because I thought that would help a lot more people um I, I don't know I, I, I kind of wish I'd maybe asked because I, I don't have like any idea where he could possibly be and I'll, I want to make sure he's okay you know yeah I uh I suppose I wish that I had anything I could tell you that I thought would be able to help I don't know it's, it's kind of a really it's a good thing about being a Kitsadria but it's also a bad thing we're really really hard to find because he can look like basically anyone so I kind of can't really track him down so I maybe should have used my one magical chance to find him <laughs> As you are saying, they're really easy to find. He wills the blue markings on his fur to appear and disappear just rapidly. See? They're not easy to find. <laughs> no way. Not unless you're looking for the, the poofy little stumps we got going on. Hmm. At the bottoms of our, our little fox booties. <laughs> He's using the cutest language and I can't handle it, man. He's like, boop, booties, teeny tiny fox body. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to leave until at least... Well, I don't think Elmira's going to leave until at least after this competition of yours is over. She seemed to express an interest in seeing how Vogan did, so mm -hmm. we'll be around for at least that long. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you'll have more chances to try to find Kevin. I really hope so. Mm. Hey. Do, do you want to do you want to come do something with me real quick? Sure. Miriam got me all these strawberry seeds, and he said that I could plant them. Do you want do you want to help? Like you can you can like dig, and I can I like plant the seeds, and it'll be it'll be really good. I uh, sure I'll do my best. Okay, let's go do that. All right, I can heads out. Helps you to plant some strawberries so to everyone else you would just see these two little foxes one with a bunch of seeds the other one digging <laughs> holes one drops a seed in with a little fox face the other one buries uh, maybe it back I should, up maybe i shouldn't have drank this much <laughs> as you guys as you guys are planting them you move by jerky who looks to the two of you briefly stands up and that's at a very low growl bark 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 Arr. <laughs> <laughs> he makes one particularly large growl at it, and Jerky seems to stop. His ears go down, and he recoils back to his corner of the outside. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's okay. Kill I'll... your brother again. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll like I'll like pet him in a little bit. He'll feel better. Hopefully. I'm scared I don't. Cat. I don't. Well, he's he's really nice. Jerky's nice. He's also a member of the high standards, and you'd be nice too. <laughs> Did he give his boop as well? I don't think so, but shut <laughs> up. <laughs> just fucking walks by Jerky, just borks like, You're a slave, you know that, right? <laughs> walks by. God! You're so <laughs> fucking. Oh, God. Like, fuck. God damn it, man. <laughs> And he continues helping you plant strawberries. Yeah. Wonderful. I hope I never learn fox. <laughs> kick your ass if I learn Cassandra, boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. That's it. That's awesome. I'm good. All right. Um. So, Fenris. Yes. As you're dreaming, uh, you do. I uh, have some dreams. Initially, you dream. Um, it's not a logical dream. It's not particularly straightforward. Uh, it's very much darts between different events very suddenly of your childhood. You flash back to some of the key things you remember with your parents, with the pale lady taking the place of most of them. Um, they pass at the rate and with the sort of consistency that dreams are ought to. Yeah. 
the last thing that you remember from your dream before you wake up in the morning, um, you have a moment where as you are dreaming of playing as a very young girl, back when you still looked like a little babu, back when you were in, uh, oh. uh, at an age that even humans would consider to be young. Oh, that was like 180 years ago. Oh, You're okay. playing in oh, a God. field outside where you used to live. There's a very cold breeze suddenly that sweeps up from behind you. Uh, your hair is blown into your face. You try to catch it, and as you turn to look at what, where this cold breeze is coming from in the middle of as what you remember to be summer, as you turn, you find everything has changed. There's a very large cavern surrounding you, and before you wake up, you catch a very brief glance of this massive pit with this absolutely colossal, near-castle-sized uh, chunk of gemstone that is jutting wow. from the ceiling and is uh, piercing down as, like, a teardrop is uh, coming to a point over this massive pit that has a ring of earth surrounding it, this absolutely gargantuan cavern that you find yourself in. You see crystals lining the walls inside of it, a rainbow hue escaping them, everything in here lit beautifully, with a very, very, very small sliver of um, something solid at the center of this crystal mass that you can barely see through for how huge it is, with a figure that seems to be trapped inside yeah. of it. It's an egg! Um, this vaguely humanoid speck that you can see in the distance. Um, you can't see it move, but in that way that dreams don't make sense, you feel it move. You feel the sensation of a finger twitch, and as it happens, you are overcome with all sorts of different emotions, reaching surges of intensity all at the same time, sadness and happiness and fear, and as they do, it snaps you awake and your eyes open. <laughs> and assuming that no one else had anything major to do in the morning, uh, or during that night, we're going to move ahead to the next morning. Yay! I'm going to make Heck breakfast yeah. for everyone if no one's awake. <laughs> you just wake up, you're like, <gasps> i got to make waffles! <laughs> 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 like, I feel like that's like Fenris avoiding what she just saw. She's like, I'm going to make some bacon, and I'm going to make some eggs. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I feel like Vogan stayed up a long time. <laughs> Trying they, to get. <laughs> they need to eat so that they have their full strength for the turn of it. Just crying as she's cooking. Suck on that sewing. Everyone stayed up except for Fenner. <laughs> Aristo, do you know how to iron a shirt and pants and underwear? Boy, do I. Come here, my friend. <laughs> 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 Let me hook you up. Are you sure you are with the tailors? <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. Sounds like Quintus and Aristo are up. Uh, come here, guys. I, last night, but I got too drunk. <laughs> that sounds like Quintus. <laughs> Give Quintus his, uh, his formal wear. Yes! Hopefully it fits. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> haven't really, uh, haven't had occasion to make clothes for other people uh, too often. Hopefully it works out. <clears throat> oh, you're giving him clothes that you made. Mm -hmm. I'm at least modified from existing clothes. Ah, he's like Fancy. a uh, dear I just assumed you were, huh? For me? I guess, of course. Did you see anyone else in here? Thank, thank you so much. Oh. I'll, I'll wear this with pride tonight. <clears throat> oh, um, this serves my pleasure. <laughs> Boy, oh, slightly. No <laughs> no. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I uh, wanted to ask you something, Aristo. Well, oh, uh, certainly. Uh, what would that be? Ah. Uh, Ah, tonight, uh, once everything is settled, can I talk to you about something? I actually need to talk to a couple of you. Oh, Once yes. we're done with, with our dinner and everything. Of course. Is, is it very... Is it pressing? Is Are we in danger? It's pressing to me. Well, then I absolutely have time for that. 
I'd like to get it out of my I'd like to get it out of my head before tomorrow. Of course. Yes, if there's anything I can do to put your mind at ease, don't mm. don't don't even hesitate. <clears throat> he will give a smile and he will uh he will kind of kind of awkwardly leave mostly just because it's like i'm gonna go now <laughs> it's like now that i've said the thing i'm gonna and, and i've committed to tonight yeah <laughs> second you leave fans himself slightly oh now tell the other person i need to talk to hopefully aristo doesn't think this is a date i've got a date Hear that, Morganite? I have a date! <laughs> Incredible. What do you think of that, sir? <laughs> Why do you think I would care? <laughs> Yo, yeah. Where's, where's Morgan's armor? <laughs> fucking beautiful. And you're wearing that! Wow, you say what, what's wrong with it? I thought I looked quite dashing. Oh, no, oh nothing. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 need to, I need to start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> uh, either he's messing for, either he's messing with you, or he's looking out for you. And either way, I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. After after that, I'll, I'll go around giving people the the clothes. <laughs> Trying to go to. Maybe go to Vogan. Oh. What do you want? <laughs> the best. Go you on. stick, out, you stick <laughs> your head out of the out of the out of the puppy proof room and don't let him anybody see. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? It's what become a there? padded room. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, no, nothing at all. I just uh, had a bit of a gift for you. He but if you're interested. He squints at you. What kind of gift? Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, prepared a little outfit for tonight. I for to everyone. Oh, come <laughs> on! At least look at it! You hear, uh, behind the door. <sighs> and he opens the door. Show it to me. With pleasure. I'll, like, unfurl it as best I can. Just kind of show them what I put together. Even, uh, put a little hood on it uh, with, a, with a mouthpiece for you, if you like. Not sure exactly how secret you're going to need to keep your identity tonight, but I figured best to have the option. It's uh, got a bit of a coat and a tie. Uh, hopefully everything uh, fits right. Describe what it looks like to me. Describe the <laughs> colors and whatnot. <laughs> well, no. Impress me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's got, got like a lot of black going on, like a three-piece suit, maybe like a, like a nice like a uh, red tie, with like, a, with like a dress shirt underneath, maybe some flares of like red on like the cuffs and the lapel. Hmm. Thanks. He'll take yeah. it and then retreat back. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I do so enjoy our chats, Vogan. <laughs> I don't. From behind the door. <laughs> Damn. I'm sure that puppy will be very happy. And I you don't know about up. it. You don't know about it. <laughs> I walked in on you. I stealthed. I know what you were doing. Oh, you saw I was doing something. I didn't mention a dog. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, you didn't mention it to Lexi. It's just that Mary Mister overheard him telling Elmira. Yeah. That's what she knows. Just let me have that. Yo, right? I <laughs> wanted it too, but he wouldn't fucking give it to me either. <laughs> Bullshit. We'll know in like, what, an hour? Yeah, you'll yeah. know soon. <laughs> so, well, so we want you to volunteer the information, you bitch. God. <laughs> uh, as you're talking, Raleigh. Oh, yes? As you are. I won't say pestering, but as you are trying to get Vogan to uh, take the clothes and wear them, uh, holding him out towards him, you have a brief moment where, very suddenly, everything in front of you peels away, as if 
the environment around you was paint being removed aggressively from a canvas. Oh. You find yourself oh. in a cave and you suddenly have this cold sensation as a surge of memories come back to you. Oh, shit. Oh. And then this is, this is after I just finished talking to him? Or, or you find, uh, this is just at the tail end as he was just walking away. This is uh, This would occur. You see uh, it's all a bit jumbled and hazy. Everything is moving as if it was splotches of paint on a canvas as opposed to um, properly seeing everything there. Um, you know the Take On Me music video? It's that but colored in. Oh, um, as, you, as you see that, um, you find yourself in a mine that you don't directly recognize. You find yourself dressed in much different clothing, wearing a much different face. Uh, with a badge affixed to your clothing that you recognize as the same one that uh, had been pointed out to you before with uh, whenever everyone searched for your things. Um, you find in this very muted memory you passing into the mine with a dwarf dressed, a rather muscular dwarf that is dressed in all sorts of uh, rather important looking colors. He seems to be rather wealthy. You as Raleigh would know enough about um, the politics of the major countries that you would recognize this man as the uh, the royal forge master, a very important dwarf in the in Grey Rock who basically ran their uh, their um, heck in metalworking industry. You in through this memory, you have sudden flashes of going with this man into a mine that you know to be the Mithril Dive, into a particular vein of it, luring him in under the guise of having him inspect something, bringing him into a part of it that is rigged with explosives. And you triggering them, large amounts of, uh, of a um, pale mist escaping from geysers and walls created as they explode and you fleeing as you leave this dwarf within the mines and uh, teleport out using magic as they collapse inward, trapping both him and all of the workers that are within this mine, hundreds of them, uh, leaving them either to die or to be crushed under the, uh, what's happening, and upon escaping, you, uh, you have a brief moment of realizing you were caught in the explosion slightly, taking the badge off, you dusting it off, seeing part of it's been incinerated, then putting it in your pocket. You then come back in. You, uh, return to reality, and you hear a voice being like, I have made some progress. What did you see? I, uh, I saw uh, a mine, the, the same mine, the badge I had on me when I woke up, the, 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 the royal forge master, I, I think I was trying to assassinate him. I do not keep up with the politics of your realm. Trying, or did you succeed? Did, uh... Did it look like I su succeeded from the, the vision, or like was it? You wouldn't was know tell? since you caught up with everything. You wouldn't know. Um, Marion would definitely know. <laughs> but uh, you, I, it, it would look like he was at the epicenter of the explosives that were set off. One would assume. I, I, I can't be certain, but it certainly looks like he was in the center of things. It would have been very hard for him to survive. Hmm. I will continue trying to unlock more. Excellent. Much, much appreciated. The, the cold feeling once again washes away from you. And you find you're left in a cold sweat. Everyone else, you guys just saw Raleigh freeze up in the middle of the room. And by this point, oh. he's broken out into a cold sweat, seemingly over nothing. As far as you can tell, he was very offended that Vogan didn't love the clothes immediately. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, Aristo. We'll get, we'll get to him. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's just like that. It's fine. Knees <laughs> buckle as I like come back to it. <laughs> you don't need to freak out about it. Oh, maybe he has low blood sugar. Maybe you, you maybe eat something. I should freak out about it after what I just saw. He uh, goes and pushes Raleigh into one of the seats and puts you. a plate of food in front of him. Did you, like, accidentally see Vogan naked or something? What Vogan? Happened? What? what happened to her stuff? Yeah, you were talking I... to Vogan. Oh, right. Oh, God. Goodness. Bloody hell, no. I... I had a... I had a vision. 
Morganite. Morganite's been trying to restore my memories. Thanks to her. Thanks to the fragments of that sword. And it seems he's starting to succeed. Uh, she'll, uh, is, is, uh, is Miriam around? Uh, of course, they're on there. Mm. I saw. Miriam, I. It was the mine. I saw the mine. I. I was. I. I don't know all the details, but it looks like the demon Velis. He was, he was me, but he was wearing a different face. He lured the, the Dwarven Forge Master into the mine. I think he, he was planning to kill him. He, he planted explosives throughout the mine. And he detonated them. The whole thing collapsed with everyone inside. Yeah. Well, Miriam. Same. So just to just to prime you with knowledge that you would have, Aaron, uh, you would know that the uh, Royal Forge Master did in fact die on that day. The entire mine collapsed in. People thought it was a routine inspection where a series of collapses triggered one another, but basically everybody in the mine uh, was lost. That was also the day that your your character's father was lost to the mine. Um, the main thing that came out of that is, apart from losing the Forge Master, who was a brilliant inventor and an amazing smith, amazing smith, <laughs> um, he uh, that mine was also one of the deepest and most lucrative in terms of uh, mithril, specifically. Uh, yeah. You um, losing it deprived the town that you came from, deprived the mithril dive of a lot of its uh, economic power in the country. Which didn't change all that much, but it did affect the quality of life for everyone around. Um, but yeah, you would know that the Forge Master definitely didn't make it out of there. When I, when I was seeing the vision, um, I saw the badge. Was I able to see it with enough clarity to see a name? Uh, it's the same badge you have. It just is a bit incinerated. Oh, right. It's one of the things that's in your bag. I will also oh, yeah. note, uh, whenever you saw it, you def you also saw where you were brought to. Uh, there was an opening to some deeper place. As memories continue to flood back to you, you briefly recall a muddied conversation that the point you brought him to, there was a huge crack that didn't look like it had been mined out, that it had a very ominous feeling to it. The, the same white mist was seeping gently from it. It looked more natural and old than the mine itself. That is where, as Velis, you seem to have chosen to detonate things for... Some purpose. You definitely got the sense you didn't need to bring him that far in. Gotcha. Yeah, sorry, I was asking, because, like, um, wasn't, um, wasn't the badge, like, damaged too much to read, like, the name that was on it, um, when I had uh, it? The full number couldn't be read, uh, but you could read, like, the date and whatnot assigned to it, um... You in in the dream, gotcha. the way that, the way you were seeing everything, everything was too general. Like, it was all, like, paint swashes. Uh, gotcha. so you, you wouldn't be able to have told, uh, been able to see details of that particular level. Okay. I think the the spot where the explosives were planted was was also odd. It was there was a there was a crack that stood out from the rest of the mithril that they were otherwise mining. It was ominous somehow. I think. Velus planted the explosives there for a very particular purpose. Would I, would I be able to, would I have enough information to, like, at least theorize, like, there was maybe, like, a, sort of, like, an amniotic vein of some sort? That is definitely an assumption you could jump to. You gotcha. know that those definitely exist. That one seemed cleared in a way that you would not associate with them normally, but it seemed very much like that was an opening to a, uh, to a vein of messite. I, I don't know for sure, but I think maybe it might have been a messite vein. Doesn't make much sense to me. 
I just don't know why. Velis would need to hide mess out from the world. <sighs> Not sure I know either. Perhaps he perhaps he didn't want to hide it. Perhaps he wanted to unleash it. <sighs> but it's hard to say. Well, the Forge Master died, so he accomplished that. A lot of people died. I, again, I know it's meaningless, but I'm sorry for the part I played in this. Me too. Try to get up and clean myself off. <laughs> all right, everyone else, more clothes. Yeah. Yay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's all your clothes. Be yeah. sure to eat up your breakfast. You know, uh -huh. important meal of the day. Made suits and dresses for everyone. I hope that she all like and me is like wobbling. I'm <laughs> drenched in sweat. <sighs> Thank you, Raleigh. No, no problem. I uh, made it so that if uh, if the need arises, that um, your legs can be freed. They, they can be easily. The side can be cut open, so you can run easier if, if you have to. Appreciate it. Um, I probably should have just used disguise self. But haven't you make something for me, really nice? Yeah, no, no problem. Just, uh, we'll learn more about it. Mm. We've all got yeah. those, we all had those visions, or those visions given to us by the, by the Esper. Mm -hmm. Eventually we will learn more about this. Don't, don't worry too much. I don't know. Frankly, I would, I don't know. The... No, forget it. Uh, we found Merkwire. We will find this Velus, and he will pay. Yes. The worst thing about Merkwire was he's mostly right. Mm. Mostly. Don't get me started on that. <sighs> I'm not Dude. one to say anything about that because, well, but. Even if he would have won that fight and taken us down, what good that came of it, I wouldn't have liked. Ruling with that kind of power. Maybe we do need more, like, more change, but he wanted to. Oh, don't get me wrong. His mm. result was wrong. Mm. Yes. But... yes. The math that led up to it wasn't exactly incorrect. Mm. Perhaps we'll I learn more when like we find his people. employers. Indeed. These uh, talons of Azarok, or as a rule, that one. I mm -hmm. did. <laughs> <laughs> Nom's toast. Hum. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rich to talk with your mouth, Phil. You tell him, Lexi. The sinister people that Mark Wara was wearing for. I threatened him with a. I threatened him with a wooden spoon. <laughs> I just start waggling at him. Using the Lord's name. I'll get oatmeal to everyone. You should all eat. It's a big day today. I, that's it. I wrap him on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! I learned quite a few things from the nuns back from where I hail. Oh Jesus! <laughs> His eyes go wide. Flashbacks from training in the from training in the churches of, of, of arrows. All the nuns I'll, like, getting him. <laughs> I'll like twirl no. the wooden spoon in my. <laughs> Twirl the spoon in my fingers and then like put it away like I'm sheathing it. Damn. In my assumed apron. No. <laughs> Perfect. 
Perfect. <laughs> so do we all eat? What's happening? Do we go to the tournament? Let's talk. Oh, we have to wait go for to a dinner dog first. to get here, apparently. Oh, yeah. there's the dog. <laughs> we need to go to the tournament the next day. Oh, yeah, we have a whole last yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have we a, a whole, whole last, last day. day. <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad we're whole entire cheek filling up day. before dinner. <laughs> Oof. Whatever, it's still a big day. Breakfast is an important meal. Eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Uh, you guys spend your morning eating uh, breakfast, preparing yourselves, resting. I've long rested the group, so if anybody wants to change their, uh, well, if Fenris wants to change her spells, or if thank you, Raleigh I'll wants, change up my spells. <laughs> or if Raleigh would like to change the uh, spell in Castell's book that he is attuned to, then you guys can uh, change those things. Um, yeah. but I think it's as good a time as any for us to stop there. Oh. No! Oh, my dreams! <laughs> Puppy now! Son of a bitch. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, you're, you're, you're right, you're right. So, we, this is actually not where we'll stop. In the morning, <laughs> an agent from the family does come and collects your money, Vogan. Yeah. Pointing across both with them from the window the entire time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do they come they in leave. with like a, a cage or something? Or... <laughs> they would they would come in with a cage, yep. A little okay. uh they would oh. come up to you with a cage that inside of it there is it's like a it's like a walking cage, like there's a handle on the top. It's gonna of be it. like it's a carry cage for a blink dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a tiny it's a tiny one. It's behaved, it's mostly for carrying. Yeah. No. They bring it they, uh, whenever they bring it up to you, they pull a sheet off the top of it, which I've been keeping it in the dark, mm. uh, and you see this little tiny blink dog puppy mm. sitting, curled up, making the tiniest little blink dog puppy snore noises. Oh. As the light hits it, it, like, looks up to you, and it stands, and I'd like you to roll me an animal handling check to determine what your immediate relationship with this blink dog puppy is oh, going to be. 20, I'm going to 20. put an, in an uh, inspiration into this, no, obviously. <laughs> and uh, what? Oh, thank God you did pretty good. And if there's one. anybody else around, I'm going to use my saving face. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that they are. Cool. You... Put your hand out, he opens the cage, he puts it down, the blink dog puppy steps out of it. Seems relatively well behaved for a puppy. You put your hand out to it, as you do it, sniffs your hand, and then after a moment, it pushes its head into your hand to make you pet it. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> and then disappears, uh... never be seen again. <laughs> and then, oh, and you're then... gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then it disappears and it's gone. <laughs> Despite it having a uh, very smooth, uh, mostly, uh, pretty much entirely, well, entirely furless skin, this mm -hmm. tiny little baby blink dog, just to remind you, that's a big blink dog. Mm -hmm. This little baby oh. blink dog is just a little stumpy boy. I found a, uh, I found a picture of a baby blink dog. Oh uh, my god. What? Give, give us. It's wow. a, it Message lets out two there. tiny yips that <laughs> when, it, <laughs> when it lets out these two tiny yips, it borks with such great effort that it actually lifts off the ground slightly each time it does. Oh. <gasps> what, would you, what would you like to name your little tiny blink dog? What is its gender? What a good question. Do you want to know before or after you, you name it? <laughs> before. Roll me a d100 and we'll find out. <laughs> 51 or higher, it's a boy blink dog. It's, like, what's it's a name? boy! It's a Mrs. blink boy. Dog. No. <laughs> it's like, you look at, you like, wow, your name is, looks under, blink it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your, your name this, is, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> this, is, this is a blink boy. <laughs> it's a blink boy? All right. It's a blink boy. Uh, hmm. call him that. Call him Link Boy. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. no, you can do it. Mrs. Dog. No. No. Uh, can I get back to you on that? No. Very important to think about it. Yes. <sighs> if you want to, if you want to end this session without having named your Blink Dog, like a fool, 
like a fool. <laughs> but if you oh, rush it, if you rush it, it won't have the perfect name. It's you like that horrible end to an episode. It's like, I think your name, name will be pan shot to the sky credits. You're like, no. Nah! Yeah. <laughs> it's never gonna have the perfect if you, name. If you want to wait, you can wait. I will wait. <laughs> okay. How dare you? <laughs> Uh, I got a doggy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, dude. No, really. I will take it inside and then show it off <laughs> to <Dude>. everybody. <laughs> Lift it up, look at the family members, like, go away. Your job's done. Go inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say, I'll like, thank you very much. You're free to leave now. <laughs> Once they leave, Lexi hits you. It's <laughs> like, you made that deal with the family and didn't tell any of us? I bought a dog, that's it. You got a dog and didn't tell any of us you were getting a dog? Well, you can't yeah, it's be a mad surprise. at that little face, hello. Well, I'm girl. not mad at the dog, I'm mad at Vulcan. <laughs> I'm like baby talking the dog, I don't care about this conversation. As you sit, as you <laughs> are talking to it, uh, you notice the blink dog lets out the tiniest little almost bark. <laughs> towards a window and you see Jerky's head is up just looking in one of the windows <laughs> towards it. His eyes narrow and the blink dog lets out a yip towards Jerky. As it does, Jerky seems to stagger back a little bit and then his head goes down <laughs> below the window. Oh, that, that was will a be scary your brother. little tiger. <laughs> that will be your that was certainly a scary little tiger. <laughs> I'm going to turn into a fox and attempt to play with the dog. <laughs> Fork, fork, dog. <laughs> roll me, roll me a charisma check. I want to have you do fork. animal handling because you are currently an animal. <laughs> You're right. Charisma check. For... Oh fuck. Okay, here we go. Oh yes! my lord! Oh! <laughs> Mad twenty. You as soon as you well, you put it down, if now. as uh, provided Vogan puts it down, when you turn to mm -hmm. a fox and start playing with it, it immediately starts borking and blipping around, like popping in and out of existence as it seems to try to chase you. <laughs> if my yes. heart could beat, it would be exploding right now. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of all of our masters. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the best purchase I've ever made. <laughs> I think I have to agree with you on that one. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. At one point, one it tries to teleport to you to like jump on top of you, but as it teleports, when it pops back in, it pops back in upside <laughs> down, falls on its back, <laughs> flails a little bit, and writes itself back up, then keeps playing with you. <laughs> okay, we'll work on that. You're gonna be the best uh... doggy ever. <laughs> I'm gonna train him. Kill so so well. many be I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be a guard dog. Who's going to kill all the intruders? Yes, you are. You are yes, you are. Kill them all. <laughs> kill them all. <laughs> you little killer, you. <laughs> That's his name. I'm kidding. Uh -huh. And with that, yeah. with this happy moment, we pan to the sky. Uh, and as we pan we to the sky, it. we slowly fade to credits. This entire yeah. scene better be in there, Stewie. You're right. <laughs> Dude, we're we being nice. 316. Too much happiness. We're gonna get a fucking throat slit next game. <laughs> like, yeah. oof. It's true. This was a happy right. game. <laughs> oh, uh, what a good, good time. I'm so happy. <laughs> Same. I'm oh. Not about this. There's a lot going on. I'm going to play credits. I'm going to be right back real quick. And then, uh, heckin', we can wrap up. Wrap up stream and do the raffle. Hi. Yeah, I'm going to make your dog love me more than it loves you. Bitch. <laughs> kill her! Kill her! <laughs> oh, yeah. I will strangle you to death. <laughs> oh, I know. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good that you know. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, short game. We were nice to Stewie for once. Yeah, you're welcome, Stewie. God. <laughs> I got a puppy. <laughs> Vogan Jr. Ah. Vogan Jr. Ah. This is so cute. I'm going to name him. Hey, Master, what's your dad's name? So I'm going to name my dog after him. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I heard this before, but I'm gonna name him Morganite. Oh, <laughs> he's like, what? Huh? Why? <laughs> <sighs> name I'm it cool Lekazon. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 
I'm so confused by these suggestions. Ah, uh, look, <laughs> it's little Raleigh. But that's my name, Vogan. You're right. Good, Raleigh. Better, Better Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's absurd. Shut up, bad Raleigh. <laughs> Shut up, worse Raleigh. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I try. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking obviously, Vogan's a dad, and Mary Mist is the mom. Oh, Aww. my heart! I would not doubt it if Mary I mean, Mist. Let's be honest. If, if anyone's gonna get closer the dog. to Yo, right? this dog, then, if anyone's gonna get closer to this dog than Vogan, it's going to be Mary Mist. It is mm -hmm. absolutely gonna be Mary Mist. We're all gonna be yeah. leaving and going for yeah. I know. Oh. Call him Markwire. Fuck up. Call him. Uh, what a heckin' good time. What? Bark wire. Oh, good time. What a happy Bark game we wire. had today. <laughs> a beautiful time. What What's great... his name? Uh, cruel. Yo, I was thinking that, <laughs> but no. no, no, no. <laughs> Vogan and Cruel. A team made in heaven. <laughs> no. <laughs> you name him The Cruel. The Cruel. <laughs> Come here, The Cruel. <laughs> no, he needs, a fal he needs like a falcon named The. I need to see. Yeah. Oh. Dude, you're just like, I don't know why, but I'm going to name this dog David. <laughs> <laughs> just like the weirdest, most pedestrian. Yeah. Um, like, not a cruel cool dog. David. Yeah. David. David. No, it's just like, what's that? I know what to name you. Phil. Because yeah. <laughs> you fill <laughs> my heart with joy. <laughs> All right. Oh. So, my dudes, uh, we are gonna take off from there, I think. Yeah, this is a fucking good game we have. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. We love you, too. Bye. Bye. We'll see you guys next week. Oh. Can you name it first? Well, don't you dare. <laughs>